man with the plan. Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't need violent and hit you 8,000. Wait a minute, hold that stylus out. Damn, goddamn Billy Jack, we still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, see shots flying, so we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up, and I see them haters try to run with us, they gon' need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard just like the Vader players. Grab your respirators, night invaders get like sabered. Mass on for the shooters, move like trash to bed intruder. Got that Glock and got them woofers, just Press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Still, you damn fools. Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill. Yeah. It was never, ever a game. I'm out. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Dan here, guys. I want to welcome you all back to WWE 2K23. We are continuing on here and jumping into the second My Rise storyline. This one is going to be for the Legacy. What's funny, I was, I was calling it the Legend for a while. My bad. The Legacy. Now, this is the female uh, storyline, so I think it's pretty cool that they've actually introduced um, exclusive storylines depending on what gender of superstar you decide to take. Um, so I'm curious to see where this is going to go. I've read and heard that the legacy storyline is better than the lock that we had just finished last week. So I'm looking forward to that. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, overall, I've been enjoying, obviously enjoying WWE 2K once again. Um, and I'm hoping we'll have uh, a good time today. Today, we're going to be focusing on the character creation and, of course, the first chapter uh, in, in the actual storyline, which I'm not 100% sure what it's called just yet, but we will find out in just a minute so anyway guys welcome back hope you all had a fantastic weekend hope you're ready to continue with this make sure you're leaving a like on the stream and don't forget to say what's up in the chat as well so we know you're with us speaking of that let's go through chat really quick and we will get started right away here all right uh what's up Jaden? how's it going what's up judd miss t what's going on hey K gareth excuse me uh, i'll get you in just a second what up tim hey jay good to see you what's up tracy welcome uh for some reason disney got timed out for some reason that's weird disney hello if you can see me if you if you can hear me what's up mickey what's up thank you for being a member for the last six months welcome welcome back what's up Sai? what up tyler and harry good to see you all thank you very much for coming uh obviously we're trying to get back up to our previous member goal of 500 members a lot of um large membership gifted memberships like big groups of those ended up expiring meeting their month expiration unfortunately so in order to get to that 500 milestone, we got a bit of a bit of a mountain to climb once again, but I think we can get there. So if you guys want to support the page that way, uh, you can join the membership program with the links in the description. Join button below the video. There's also one on my main channel page as well. And if you're on Android phone or desktop versions of YouTube, you can also gift those memberships as well. Right next to chat, there's a dollar sign icon with the drop down menu. You click that, it'll allow you to gift anywhere from one to 50 memberships at a time. Anyway, let's rock and roll. Yes, Mickey, I did. I just uh, just announced it. I got you. Don't worry. Appreciate it. Uh, let's go. Start the My Rise. Second, second player. Uh, obviously, you do have to choose which one you're rocking with. So we're going to go empty here. We've seen that already, so we're going to skip that. All right. So the Legacy. They put the Legacy first, which makes me wonder what they're doing with this. Anyway, so making your WWE debut has some extra challenges when your aunt is a beloved WWE legend and Hall of Famer. Will you leverage your family legacy to rise to the top or look to chart your own path to WWE in WWE? Which is interesting because obviously now everybody is going to... Um, uh, is looking forward to... Uh, whatchamacallit. Sorry, everyone is going to be like kind of comparing you to your to your relative. So, anyway, no, uh, I know, I know why, I know why Disney's getting timed out. It's, <laughs> of course, that match was an instant classic. But Justine, which match of yours wasn't a classic? Oh, you're way too kind, Robin. 
to point out that very real truth. Were you nervous at all? Me? Nervous? <laughs> of course not. I had that match on lock. In fact, I was always calm, cool, and collected, from my first day in the ring to my sixth championship victory. Wait, are we playing as the ant right now? Is that what's happening? I'm assuming that's the case. Anyway. I just want to see what's going on with this. So yeah, this is the girl we actually meet in the cro in, in the in the female or sorry the male campaign. Oh, it's for the championship. So, anyways, um. Yeah, she started the podcast, so when we were in that, that moment where we were podcasted, you know. But yeah, any exactly. I know what he's trying to say, and it's and he's not being he's, he shouldn't be getting blocked, but there's one individual who keeps being a douche, so that's the only reason that name is. Which kind of, I might, I don't know, I might have to remove that one. It is what it is, but. But this isn't who we're playing as. Molly Holly. And introducing the champion from Forest Lake, Minnesota, Molly Holly. I think this is supposed to be like Attitude Era because, I mean, look at the championship belt. It's just like that era. Maybe not that old, but like not that long ago. Maybe, maybe more like Ruthless Aggression Era. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Yeah, remember those? <laughs> those slide-ins? Whenever there'd be a title championship. She's like, this is what you're playing for. Understand that. And this is what it's for, big guy. Let's go. It's kind of neat that you're playing kind of like a like a throwback match first. So yeah, O2. So yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, so this is ruthless aggression era. Well, I think it, well maybe not quite. It was close. Wait, when did ruthless aggression start? It was 2002, right? Like, oh, I gotta do light combo, sorry. What's up, Abdul? How's it going? There you go. Now what? Dodger attack. Well. Oh, that arm drag is filth. Dodged it. Hip check. Hip check. Hip toss. <laughs> I remember our last moments as moments champion with an opponent taunt. They kind of look like different flavors of grapes, don't they? <laughs> we got a purple grape and then we got the green grapes. Get real, girl. So really, I just got, I just got to take her down. Oh, but that's embarrassing. You can't. What's up, Beast hey, Abdul? I climbed to the middle rope with the just. Oh, it's a finisher. Oh, God. They kind of give it to you. Damn, she's she's definitely a striker, which is interesting because that's what I was doing. That's oh, that's that was my plan for my super my you know when I create my own superstar. Oh, you need to get up there. I'm I'm running out of time. Oh. 
Oh, that's embarrassing. Too far. Let's try this again. No, dude. <laughs> oh, God. This is so annoying. Hip toss. I just gotta... Honestly, she keeps standing up so fast. It's like... That's perfect. I gotta get her here. I gotta get her somewhere close enough that she can reach. See, she's getting up. I'm gonna run out of time. She, she's too... She's too stable, guys. That might be too far. I don't know. There you go. Ooh. Now what? Now what? Take that title. Let's go. I don't know if it's enough. We'll see. No. They're going to do that. I got a signature. Speaking of that, what is her signature? Um, Yokozuka Cutter. All right. Yokozuka Cutter, I guess. Well, it's wrestling. I'll just hit her with it one more time just to give a bit of, you know, just to charge it up, you know, make it look a little saucy. That's a pretty sick move. I do like that. Oh, my God, man. This game is taking the piss right now. <laughs> I feel like this is a match that should have ended already. That's okay, we're buffed. Suplex. Oh, reversal. I think we should have won this by now, but, you know, it is what it is. Way too early for that, girl. Nice reversal sequence. Let's just go up high, no lie. We know it is. Elbow drop. Push her forward. There you go. Excellent. That might do the trick, guys. Yup. Got it. Give me that dub. Here is your winner. I think I think they kind of wanted you to do this career first because think about it we run into Justine in the men's career and we don't really know who she is but now that we know this it's more it's like oh cool 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 okay that's it oh okay I thought it was gonna be cooler to be fair though Annie this I wouldn't consider this sports that much it's 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 entertaining in its own way you don't need it doesn't need to be like you know sports game watching my first title win again <laughs> after you topped it up so much on your podcast this week how can i not don't get me wrong it's a fantastic match i just figured you had it memorized by now sure but it's a tradition at this point is it my favorite aunt only aunt watch your most epic victories and now also stress about what i have to live up to in my debut at survivor series tomorrow night <laughs> uh, why are you laughing Oh, nothing. Just that if I didn't know better, I'd say you were nervous, which is super hilarious. Because I know that I didn't teach my favorite Only niece. niece. Only niece. To be nervous about getting in the ring and doing what she does best. Yeah. Especially not when she's been trained by one of the biggest legends in the business. If I'm being honest, there's really no comparison. <laughs> you really do manage to turn everything into a compliment about yourself, don't you? Of course I do. I'm a six-time women's champion. Would have been ten if my career hadn't been cut short by injury. I get it. A main eventer and Hall of Famer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who had the top merch sales in the 2003 fiscal year. Okay, you've made your point. I should get ready for tomorrow. That's my girl. 
So now this is where I think we get to like customize our look. All right, here we go. All right, so obviously the last time we played this, or sorry, so in my previous game, I think I ended up going with, I think I made her quite small cruiser weight, but that's a little too small. I think I kept her the light heavy. It's a nice balance. And she was a striker as well. So I think I'll give her the striker as well. And then current person, do we, I, well, I don't know if I'm going to replicate um, what I did in the last game or not, or if I should do something completely different. I don't know. I mean, the thing is, you could do run with any of these streetwear. Dude, this probably looks so ridiculous. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. This looks like the Marty McFly treatment. Martina McFly. <laughs> but then she'd have to be like... Oh, man. That's like hey, the Daisy Dukes right there. <laughs> and then just the training wear. This stuff is just going to look strange. The cosplay is going to look a little weird, too. I don't know long it takes to load, man. That's like the Wonder Woman knockoff. The suit. She means business. I don't even remember what I did. In the, I mean, I know what I did, but I'm just kind of wondering. I wonder if I should, like, start with a base and maybe just change the... <laughs> Dude, the helmet is the best. Oh my goodness. Imagine making your debut looking like like looking like this. That's like cyberpunk, right? I think that's what they're going at with that one. And then this pass. That's just all 80. What the hell? I mean, I know that's 80s. That's like 80s workout garb right there. Renaissance. And then that's like cowboy. Dude, imagine coming out with that helmet on. That would be you wouldn't be able to hit people with it. Would you be able to hit with it because it's your like out because it's your actual like, you know, costume, like you know what I'm talking about? That's kind of UFC esque, isn't it? And that's like soccer slash football, European football. Entertainer. Oh my. <laughs> I think the TV would have a problem picking up those those details. You know, you'd get like that kind of clipping, you know what I'm talking about? On the screen. I mean, some of these are decent bases. If I'm doing something similar, I'd have to change it. I'd have to change a few things. The septum. The fire, fire firefighter. Doctor. Dr. Debra. <laughs> something like that. Is that supposed to be a Mountie? I think she's supposed to be a Mountie. <laughs> Wait, what was that one girl's name? Forgive me, I forget. She was a wrestler from like I don't I think she got released. I don't think she's in this. You know who I'm talking about? She was all about like, you know, American and you know. She was also she served in like the Navy or something. You know who I'm talking about. Anyway. Alright, so I'm wondering if because you can always modify any of these personas. You can just rock none and do your own custom. Or you can start with a base, which is... I was thinking about starting with this and just, like, changing it up. Lacey Evans, that's who it is. Maybe adjusting this a little bit. Because it's a good base. It's decent. And just, like, blacken it all out or something. Or I can just... Let's just go with no persona for now. And then we'll just kind of see. That way it'll give us access to more. So I'll probably do the exact same thing I did last year. Just I don't know if I'm going to do the same exact style, but I think I'll do the same name. So name... Uh, so, this is what we did for the last one. Because it sounded like a wrestling name. Oh, she is still there. There you go. Oh, dude, it created an extra line. Did I end up doing one S? Let me see. No, they fucked that up. 
I think I had to, I think I did one S because it didn't fit. Or Or did I just remove it? I know what I did. Hold on. Let's just go back. I don't want to backspace. Do I have to erase the whole thing? Wow. Alright. We'll just do the regular name. And then we'll add the abbreviation as a part of it. Well, maybe well, if, if she's in it, then abbreviated name. We ended up doing that's what we did. So the abbreviated name is this. Yeah. There you go. Use the abbreviated name for your name. No. Entrance name. Is it gonna jump to the next line? Yeah. Why would you put a space in the title? I honestly don't remember how I did it, but... It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, does it? Damn it! Maybe I did just do that. It just doesn't look right. I think I might have just done that. Probably. Okay, so nickname. Yeah, first name. Or no, I guess it would be... L-M-N-O-M. -M. Oh, no, no, you do this, and you can move it, can't you? Yeah, you do that, and you go... L-M... I think. Unless they changed it. Or did they get rid of it, bro? They might have gotten rid of it. Hold on. Oh, no. It's there. Okay, sorry. Never mind. I looked at the wrong one. Now, I don't know if it's going to be M-I or M-S. M I it might be just M S. Yeah, there's Mr. So it's gonna be M S then. There it is. Okay. And I saw both names, so it's a lot of M's, so we gotta scroll through the whole thing. I guess it'd be under last name, wouldn't it? There you go. Good stuff. Okay, we'll do the same thing. It's from Cambodia. <laughs> All right, let's get to the customization. Hey, Teresa, I'm doing good. How are you? Base template. That looks kind of alien-like, doesn't it? Then again, oh my. The head is huge. Ignore the head. Just look at the face. Just look at the face. I feel like they definitely removed a lot of uh, faces for this one. Wow, that looks tired as hell. This was the default. It's the best looking one, so I'll leave it, honestly. Skin color. Ah! Wait, that's that, that was what the color was? I mean, she just kind of freckled up at that point. 
It's dramatic how, like, white you look. There's no way. Why does it do that? It changes back. Unless it's glitching out. I don't know what it's doing. Okay, hold on. Let's go back to skin color. I hate that you have to use samples because they're just so wild. That looks... She looks sick. Like, I don't even know what the, what the current one was. I don't want her to look sick, but I don't want her to look like... Like, these are too white to me. I mean, that's more realistic, I'd say. It's kind of peach, but it's quite white at the same time. You know, like, shockingly Caucasian. Because that's kind of what we're going for. <laughs> uh, I'll just accept that. Well, let's, let's just... Yeah, see, that that's a little better. I can roll with that. Once you throw, like... My body type. Now, this one... Oh, wait, this is weight. Oh, okay. Um, Depends on her height. It depends on how tall I want to make her. How tall can you make them? Holy shit, you can make them a seven footer. I think that's a little ridiculous. How short can you make them? Five foot four. That seems kind of odd because there are there are superstars in. But then again, I'm a light heavyweight class. So I think there's a minimum height on this one. So I think we'll sit with like a five foot eight, which is like fairly tall for a woman, but not like Shaq. You know what I'm saying? And I think we'll do maybe say 130 that's pretty I don't, I don't know i think a, a, like a a skinny woman is usually around like i don't like not super skinny i'm talking about like with a fit woman is usually around like i don't know it depends it depends how you look at height and weight to change everything i'll just say this for now say that oh wait no i was gonna look at the actual type though wasn't i like the how it like how the appearance of the body looks that's not bad I like a mix of, like, ab, but also got to get some of them legs in there. That looks, she looks pretty strong. I don't know. I think, I think it's between these two. I think the shoulders are a little too broad for me up on that one. But then again, her neck actually looks really thin, but it could be because there's no hair. You know what I mean? The hair might be, like, tripping me up a little. That one just looks like she's doing this. That's what I think it looks like that looks wrong. Uh, that's actually a little better. Let me see. She almost looks like the neck's too long at that point. I think that's a good... Yeah, honestly, looking at it... How are the legs? Honestly, I think looking at that, I think that looks better. Let's go with that. It's <laughs> just a clone, yeah. Alright, so vein... Nah, that's fine. Alright, let's get... Yeah, I'm cool with that. Okay, so attire. I think hair and everything is on the attire as well. So let's just edit this. We'll make it our own. So appearance. We'll start with the hair. Honestly, it doesn't matter what we do. So that, uh, I don't know if I like that that much. The, the half braid. That, isn't that Becky Lynch's hairstyle right there? Definitely looks like it. Go with the Bianca Belair. The lo <laughs> I don't remember what I did last year. I think I did it fairly long, but it wasn't like insane. Wait, dude, what is this? this would you consider this like the advanced Karen? Not quite. No, this is... Um, Jesus, why is my brain not working? This is uh, Bailey's hairstyle, I think, right now, currently. Oh, uh, that's not bad. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, so far I think this is, let's zoom out a little bit. I think that's the winner so far. We're gonna be changing it, the hair color by the way. That's just like, what's the difference between the this one? Oh, I see, it's a more even part in the middle. This one's more, like kind of more messy. I don't like it as much. I 
I don't know if there's a bit of bang. I don't know what's going on with that one. It's a bit on the short. It's, oh, it's medium. Oh, it's still long. Don't get me wrong. And that's Natalia's hairstyle. That might be as well, honestly. Like, she's rocked different ones before. I think that's what the default... I think that's what it was. I could be wrong. Oh, tied back isn't bad. I think it'll it'll change it if I just... Maybe I should change the color before I choose the, the style. I think I might do that. Hold on. Let's... Uh, okay, we're at the pigtails now. So I see this. That we that's uh, what's her name's okay hold on uh where's the color do I have to select and then change yeah that doesn't look real so I was gonna go with the blonde look but that doesn't look real at all so let's just go to the color picker then how come in this game they really like cocked up didn't they like it's hard they don't have any natural colors available except for at the top and even then they're not even like actually i think i had to do something similar last game i think i actually made it quite yellow but then i made it quite faded too just so like i think i did something like that but that doesn't look real what if we just like adjusted the slider and then it's just getting lime green. So now it's kind of orange. Maybe not. That's quite good. Ooh, whoops. Shit. That's a bit too orange. I think I ended up doing something like that, to be honest. But it doesn't... Ah, fuck. It's funny. I should just pull up my old save and... <laughs> <laughs> like on the other game and just see what we ended up doing this part is this is what i mean when you, you're when you're when you're not picky and you just do like black or something like that it's easy i honestly think i did that so it was something pretty wild but i think the hairstyle is kind of tripping me up so i'll just accept it for a second and then we'll go back to it and it should automatically keep what we had it I don't know, it might be a bit too yellow. I might have to change it. I don't know, though. I think that was the whole point. I think that's why I did that. That's the problem. Like, in the last game, I swear they had, like, something similar. Yeah, it looks that like that. Like, when you have stuff like that, when it's down, it looks a little more doable. But where was the one I wasn't sure about? Yeah, I, was gonna, I was considering this one. It's honestly, like, I think the color is too fake looking. It's going to be hard to simulate. Well, no, Adam, you can't import your, your character from the last game. You can't do that. It's not something to do. That's Alexa Bliss's current style. They haven't really been able to get them down. Like, see, it's long. In, it's short in the front and long in the back there. Actually, I think that's what I rocked with. I think that's the style now that I'm looking at it. Because I recognize the waves, you know. That's like Rhea Ripley's style right there, pretty much. I feel like she should get... Oh my god, wait until we get to some of these. <laughs> what is this? I don't think any girl leaves the house going, yep, that'll do. That is, that's just, the, it's the style. Oh, my goodness. Yikes. The frizz factor's off the charts with that guy. That's like, that's like cave woman. Like, some of these just look so, I mean, but that's what I mean. These are 80s styles. That's just how they were. It was all about big hair. You know what I mean? That's wild, fam. That looks like a rat's nest, though, if I'm honest. Oh, my God. I'm sure some of these would look look a lot better if they were just a little bit less blonde. <laughs> I'm going to have to adjust the blonde. I think it's just a bit too intense. I kind of dig the partial braid like that, honestly. I think it's kind of cool. But...
<laughs> what does she look like? She looks like she. Well, she's going super saiyan. <laughs> Let's go cat right there. Let's go cat. <laughs> oh man, that's good. That's funny. That's a mop, guys. I'm sorry. That is a mop. That's ramen noodles right there. That's just hair is way too wet. What the hell is happening? That is also a mop. That's kind of mullety, honest. Honestly, how far? Are we? Oh, dude, there's so many hairstyles we're going through. I gotta pick up the. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? Oh my goodness me. I didn't realize how many styles there were. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna bother stopping on everyone. I didn't realize, I thought there was way less, but there's tons. I think it's because there's men's kind of haircuts in here as well. I, you know what I think of when I see, cause that's the guile right there. Dude, this, we can have the guile. Guys, we can do the guile right now. But it, this is like one of those chicks from like Fallout 3. You know what I'm talking about? It's not really ideal. Now, these are still women's st styles. I mean, I, I wonder if they... I don't know. Oh, gosh. There you go. This one's like a wave. It's almost like the Johnny Bravo. <laughs> Honestly, though, like... Oh, yes. This one here. Do it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. It looks like Lynch. From Kane and Lynch. Wait, Lynch is the long-haired guy, right? I always mix them up. Okay. I think we need to get serious here. Like, a lot of these are just short styles, and that's how they sort them. This is all hair, man. We're getting to the big, long hair at this point. This one's all dreaded up. I don't like that at all. That looks like spaghetti noodles. What if we did something kind of glammy? Oh, God. Not with the headband. The hair doesn't look real. That's the problem. How about this? I have a feeling it's going to be bald. No, it's just parted. It's just slightly... You'd think they'd sort them all together. So, like, if you want, like, long styles, it's all here. But, like, this doesn't look right. Like, that hair... And the thing is, the hair is just going to be animated like that. This one looks like it's got an eye part. Yeah, you can barely see. Come on, get that bang out of your way. All right, that's the button. There, that's Super Saiyan. Dude, that is Super Saiyan. That is exactly Super Saiyan right there. That is the Super Saiyan. They knew that. They knew what they were doing. Oh, my God. They had to show their people like there's nothing on the front. That's why you got to spin it around. What the hell is that? That's like the head cup. That's atrocious. Okay, what did we end up landing on? I actually don't recall. I think it might have been this one. No, not this one. Damn it. I should have I should have taken note on which one I was going for. It wasn't this one. It was like where it was like equal wave in the front. But it wasn't these either. So I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. It might have been that one actually. Hold on. I didn't take note properly. Yeah, because these were 280s. I think it might have been this one. But it was there was more hair in the front. So that wasn't it. So you guys, this is what you get. This is what you get. Oh, God. I don't remember. What, now I can't find it. I remember it had quite long hair in the front. Like, there was, like, some more danglies in the front. And these ones don't. I thought it was this one, but it's it's not. The way it's sitting, everything's in the back. Unless I just do something new. Like, I don't mind that, honestly. But I swear it was before. Maybe it was after it, though. Let's just scroll a little bit. What the hell is this, dude? <laughs> what is that? Is that in case you need to sweep the floor after? You know, you just pick your girl up, flip her around, start sweeping? Because I don't see another reason to have that haircut. And I'm, it must have been up here. Damn, bro. I don't remember which one it was. I swear it was a different one. Because there's just something about these ones that are going, like, in the, Maybe it's this one. 
No, it wasn't this one. I swear there was one where it had, a, like, a bunch more hair in the front, but it was just, like, here. It was still parted, but it was... It look In the picture, it looks like this one, but I don't think this is it. But actually, it might be. Looking at the texture in the back, this might have been what I thought. I don't know. I don't mind the, the, the high pony on this one. I don't know, I think I'm actually kind of between these two right now. This one... Okay, well, let's just leave this for now, and let me just mess with the color. Just let me see if I can just get it right. That looks a little better, doesn't it? It's not as bright. That looks a little... But it also kind of in the... Like, from the back, that looks that color looks okay. Let's try leaving that. And we'll just accept. Oh, you can do hair dye. All oh, right, you can do it in different parts. I forgot you. I'm not messing with this. Trust me. It's going to just ruin it. Okay. So the eyes. Uh, what is it set to? I think we want some blue. Do we want blue? Vibrant blue? Yeah, I'll let her have that vibrant blue. Kind of suits it. I think I might, I don't know, eyebrows, I don't know if these are worth checking into. I don't think I'm going to bother with the eyebrow. Honestly, I don't think I care exactly. Eyelashes, because they've got the makeup, it's got makeup on, right? So eye makeup. This will probably make sense for her, but let's just mess around. That's a bit extreme for me. What do we got here? Nah. I think that one's more traditional. These are these are like pretty aggressive, but Is that all there is, really? I think you have to unlock it. Tell you what, I think I'll leave that. But I might have to change the color. I don't know if you can change the color. Let's just see if we can make it as dark as Oh, it is already black. Okay, it's black, black, black. I mean, shoot, they kind of default set her to kind of the style I was going anyway. This one's kind of the 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 sharp outside. Oh, God. We're actually... Yeah, that, that almost looks fake. So, I want it to go in line with her, her actual mouth. If we're going to do this route. That's more of a natural look. Look how different they look after do, after changing to that. It just looks, yeah, some of them, this always looked weird to me. Like, it's like, all, that's like almost circus-esque, you know? It's got the strong outline. I think you can still change the style, the color, so let's just think, I'm just trying to see. I actually don't think I like that one as much. I think this one looks more natural, and then you could change it to, oh, there's, there really isn't that many, is there? I think that one just has sparklies in it. I just want to see how it compares. I think it's the color. Okay, let's just change the color. That looks very strange to me. I think it's the wrong lips, lip color. Let's try... Let's just go back to the default one, and we'll change it to black. I mean, it makes her lips look kind of small, doesn't it? How about gray? I mean, that kind of, that's a better transition. Because I had my previous superstars, like, fully blacked out before. But I think this one kind of is, like, kind of a halfway point between the eyes and, the, and like, her eyelashes and her eye color. You see what I'm saying? What if there's none? Can we do, like, none? Can we do, like, a more peach... Maybe her lips just... I think that's just the wrong... Hold on. Something... It's just something looks off. Like, see how that she goes way up? I don't know if that's intentional or what. This is... This is confused me. I'm not an expert on this, guys. I don't, I'm not an expert. See, some of them just look too small. I don't know if it's, like, just her mouth size isn't there or what. I 
Because now she kind of looks like Natalia a little bit when we, when we calm her lips down a little. Let's try that. I think it's because her upper lip is a little bit smaller. See what I mean? It just like doesn't even look real. I'm spending too much time on this. As soon as you make it dark, it just looks it like it doesn't seem to work. So you go with a more natural color, it looks better, but it's because it's hiding it more. But that the whole point is for her to have like the dark look, you know, it's the blonde and the dark and then all that. Full on follow three raider. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, you gotta commit. You just gotta send it. Tell you what, maybe, hold on, before we do any of this. Let's just accept for now, okay? Just for now. We're not finished. Um, just for a second. Let me go back. Face. Facial parts. No. Face deformation. I hate that they did... Oh, right. I forgot they changed it. They changed it so you can't actually do that. The random dev faces like it's so bizarre to me um i think the only way you can do it is if you go facial region and then you go like that Like, how do I get to that one? I think I think that's all I needed to do, actually, was just give her a bit more lip. I think that might actually help a lot. Trust the process. See, even that looks better already. I think I think I just needed to give her a bit more lip. And I'll just see what kind of color we're going with. Uh, is that set to the all black, though? Whatever, let's just rock it. It might, it might work. Let's just see. It might work. Scars, face paint. Does she want face paints? I don't... Probably not, but I just want to check. Ah! Which negates anything you ever did. Oh my god. <laughs> to what, Sammy? To what? Oh, you can go with Ultimate Warrior. Do any of these actually look like they would make sense? Or are they just all, like, dramatic? This just reminds me of the 80s. Not that I was around for them, but you know what I mean. Nah. Let's ignore the face paint. Alright, upper body. Scars. Is that all it is? Tattoos. Do I want to give her... I feel like she needs a tattoo. Uh, left arm. Let's see what we can do. Um, they actually give you... They actually give you pre-done sleeves. Which I can dig. But are they good? Like that one... I don't know. Is gonna, I don't think it would suit her. Tribal, definitely not. I don't know what... That might be a, a variation of tribal. No, that's going to look weird. What kind of yellow? The thing is, it doesn't work. I mean, did you not see how, how, how tough it was to get this one to even come work? Like, I don't want it to hurt people's eyes. That's actually kind of a pretty tattoo. I'm glad they actually have something. The skull with the rose, is that a little too cliche? I mean, it might suit our style, though. 
that, that's some detail, bro. You gotta give credit. That's some detail. They actually made sleeves. Like, which is pretty sweet. I think we want... I don't know. I think I might go with the black and gray. I like color, but... Maybe I'll go with the black and gray. That's kind of like... New Zealandy. These are all very traditional style. Whoa. That's like Celtic. That's like that's like Roman. Or, or yeah, that's like Roman Empire kind of stuff. The trees in the forest. I don't know if I like it. That one's watercolor, but I think it's too much watercolor. Is there anything that I can actually work with? That's like a horseman of the apocalypse or something. I don't know if I like those. I think that's like the only one that I'm like, okay, but I, I'd rather have a sleeve. You know what I mean? But none of them really work. Like that one's too broken up. And, like, a lot of the colored sleeves are so aggressive. Like, they're so dramatic. If anything, it would be, like, the black and the, the red. That's, like, uh, tra Japanese traditional, I think. It's hard to tell what it actually is. I didn't even think to, like, set a tattoo on my uh, my other superstar. I don't know why. There's kind of a ruling, though. That's, like I said, that's kind of Celtic. What was this one? I mean, usually you can go with the forest scene, but if I'm honest, I don't like how that looks. Like, it just looks... Uh... What was this one again? This is the, the horseman, right? It just looks messy. Like, there's, it's hard to tell what it is. Do you know what I mean? Like, you can tell, like, the tattoos weren't done. I wonder if the right... Sometimes they flip them up, so if I go to right arm, they actually change them. And they didn't. Okay. Can you do... Oh, you can do... Oh, see... That's interesting that they just have, like... Like, full sleeves. So those are your options. Let's just accept that. Oh, let's just go right arm. Maybe we put something... Something a little further down. Like, where's the anything smaller? Like, is there like a... Wasn't there like a forearm one that I didn't mind? I mean, I didn't mind that. It's pretty, but, like, I don't think it suits us. It's just, I don't know if I like the sleeves enough. What, this one? Uh, I think it's too aggressive. I think there's too much black in it. I know what you're saying, though. But I think that's, it's just almost, it's so dark, it's like... Maybe I'll just do a couple. Maybe I'll leave that one. Uh, maybe we should do... We'll do a right leg tattoo just to, like, balance it out. Oh, that's terrible. Te Why is it on the front like that? That's terrible. Terrible. I don't want the whole leg. Don't they have something smaller? I mean, they have this, which is down by the... But they're... Why is it wings, bro? It's like, it's all tribal only. Oh, these are terrible, man. I don't like them at all. Let's just go ahead and say no to that. You're better off uploading your own. She does seem a little generic, though, doesn't she? All right, I think I did. I don't think it's headgear. <laughs> The fuck? The bag, bro. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, these are horrible. Optimus Prime looking. What is that, man? What are they doing? Are they? Are, is that like fill in the blanks? Do your own thing. Holy shit. That's creeping me out. She's going swimming. All right, high call. I think I gave her. Oh no, I don't want something like this. Gotta remember, this is her ring attire. So we want to start with ring attire. I thought I thought she would have like. Wait, didn't I give her piercings? I gave her piercings. It makes. I think she needs a septum. I don't know if I like that style, but maybe this one is a septum. Or is that too aggressive? She needs a septum piercing. I think it suits the style. Maybe a small one. Like that's too aggressive. Maybe like this, but black. Nah. See, whenever I see that, I feel like girls kind of look like bulls, but <laughs> it's the style, fam. Maybe this one's a little bit prettier. And then we just make it black. I don't know. She's got to have a... I know you can't really see them, but she still has to have a lot. Unless we put the hair up. Maybe do like a stud and a stretch. Can't tell if that's a stretch or not. I feel like maybe I should just... I don't know if we want the hoop. Hoops? I, I, I thought hoops would like get snagged. And this is the other side. Every time you place these, oh, and then they have the matching double side. This is like the kit. So if you want the kit, this is like hoops and septum, which is a little aggressive. That's a little too much for me. It would honestly make sense for her to have these, the stretched ears. I think it suits the style. Let's just equip that. I think it's already set to black. Okay, let's rock with that. They do not, actually. They do not. I don't think they, they actually don't. They actually don't. All right, let's see. This is also septum. That one's pretty huge, man. We need something more, like, dainty. They don't have anything dainty, do they? I might just have to scrap it and maybe go with just, like, a side one. Yeah, they really fucked up the lip. Look at the pixelation in the lipstick, bro. They really fucked that up. Okay, and then, let's see. Let's see if there's an eyebrow. I know they've got it. If they don't, I'll be like, what? What the hell are those? Apparently, they don't have eyebrow piercings. All right, whatever. Okay, uh, clothing. So, upper body, let's change this up. So, she just got that on. So, let's just go to the tops. Here's the thing. I, I'm not trying to... Okay, guys. I'm just doing this for the sake of... Oh, it's just going to do that. Okay. The thing is, I want I want her to have, like... So they do cover her up. But I it, it think it, it, it'll clash with anything we give. So, let's find something that suits the look. Which is... I'm trying to... I don't remember what I did. Tell you what. Let me just go quickly. I'm going to look up my thumbnail of my old game. Of my old game. Just to kind of get an idea. Uh, let's see. Oh, come on. No! Okay. 2K22. 2K22. Doesn't tell me anything. Doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> oh, that's what I did. Okay, we'll look for that. That makes so much sense. Okay, so it's like a, um... It's not like that. I thought it'd be like that. No, no. It's like it's like an it's like a shirt that's like meshed out. We gotta look for like a mesh shirt. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, but obviously something similar. It wasn't that. No, definitely not. With the black rings. It was yeah, fishnet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Not this. Was it? Was it this? No, it wasn't that. Um, these are two t-shirty, the referee outfits, because they might have removed stuff too, you know, 
Just put her in a plastic sack or whatever the hell that is. <laughs> That's kind of sick. T-shirts. All the WrestleMania. The WrestleMania logo shirts. That's kind of dope. Just give her a DX shirt. Just give her an Austin shirt and call it a day. You know? You could do that. Is that Charlotte Flair style right here? I think it is. They just put a t-shirt underneath. I mean, she could do that kind of button-up look, but it'd have to be kind of more feminine, I think. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what it... It might be considered wrestling tops, the jersey. Throw the jersey on. Oh, it actually has a number? It just says player. Of course it does. That might be too cowboy for my liking. Yikes. That's a no for me, dog. That's the end of the line. I didn't see anything. Okay, maybe it's not under tops. Maybe it's uh maybe it's considered a jacket. It might be considered a jacket. But I doubt it. Unless it's... No. Yeah, these look way too... I'll oh, give her the Hawaiian shirt. Just give her that. And call it a day. <laughs> Weekend at Bernie's. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to give it like it's like fe like a cross between feminine but kind of badass, you know what I mean? Without being too cliche. Like, I don't know, that might be a bit too cliche. You know what I mean? Cuz these are just coats at this point. So I'd still have to go into the tops anyway and just kind of mess with it. Don't get me wrong, some of this stuff could uh that's like chainmail. That's basically chainmail. I mean, I could give her, like, the sleeveless hoodie, too. With, like, a black shirt underneath. Uh, that might be an option. I might I might consider the sleeveless hoodie. And didn't I put it... Yeah, I remember what I did with it. I put, like, a... She actually had a jacket like this. And it said, like... Yeah, see, I remember... The Austin vest. It's pretty badass. Something like this. That's, uh... I feel like they took some stuff away, though, man. Like, I feel like there's dramatically less than in the last game. I could be wrong, but maybe maybe, maybe it's me. I don't know, but... Do you think Tops 2 is different? No, this is the same, isn't it? Unless it's under this. It Oh, it could be under this. I never thought of that. Like, you know, something kind of like that, and then we throw a hoodie on it or something? That's pro This is probably where it was. Again, I could be very wrong. What's going on with this? Too much going on? Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. What's up, Steven? Hot mama. <laughs> Fabulous. You can look. But you can't touch. Man, I've been at this for a while, but it's 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 how it is. I mean, that might be a little too nail on the head. Maybe something like this, and then just black it out, or make it make like white trim or something. I think I did something similar like that with the white trim. I tend to do that. I usually just go black white trim. That's my uh, that's my style, I guess. Um. I still haven't seen it. This one is kind of just spiked out, right? Yeah, I don't like that. And these ones are in, in, get the arms in there. Okay, well, I think I don't mind. Where was it? It was the one with the craw. Wait, what's in the middle? Oh, I thought that was like a flag. And let me guess, I'm going to lose it. This one. Maybe I should try this. And just change the trim and then maybe throw the jacket on, see what it looks like. Okay, so first color is red. 
Maybe we'll just do the color picker and we'll just go Wu Tang. Yeah, they do, look at how rough the the edges are though. Hey, like that's brutal, man. This will be like her wrestling attire. Oh man, I actually don't like it. Like, look, look at, look at it. It looks so comical. It looks like a banana peel. Like, watch. Allow me to demonstrate. Hold on. <laughs> Can I edit this, please? Uh, color. It looks like a bad banana peel. I'm scraping this, man. Or scrapping this. I don't like this anymore. It looked okay at first, but that I get, unless I just make it all black, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe I should just do something simple. It's just it's, it's too much. That's too nail on the head. You know what I mean? Maybe something target something similar. Cause yeah, they definitely don't have the same stuff they did in the last game. Maybe with a lot of action here, like lots going on, and just black that out. I don't know. Maybe this one. A bit of crisscross applesauce. Kind of looks like Vader's. You know, breathing apparatus. How about this one? It's leather. It might work. I don't know. But then you have to do leather on the bottom, so it's just like... Guys, it's, it takes a while, okay? This, this is serious business. <laughs> oh, man. The heart doesn't make sense. Something around the neck, maybe? Nah. How about this one? I don't, I don't like all the studies, you know what I mean? Like, all, like, the, there's too much, it just, it's just, just, it's a little cliche. Oh, halters and settable. This, it's funny, you're better off just doing all. I'm gonna have to make a decision, though, guys, because I'm, I'm gonna be here all fucking day. I just don't love them, you know what I mean? Like, this is the, well, that's Alexa Bliss's, I believe. How about, no, that's too, too skimpy. It needs to be taken seriously. I mean, that's pretty simple. It's pretty much as simple as it gets. But it's like, do I want to give her a secondary top on top of it? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I think, actually, I think this is what we did. No, it wasn't. Just kidding. Sorry, I thought that's what it was. You, I didn't think, I don't think you were able to change this last time. That's the end of the line. Okay, well, maybe... What was that one I saw? It was kind of like fabric. It had like a zipper on it. Where the hell was that? They all, Like I said, they all kind of blend in. I can always change the colors of these things too. There's too much going on. Same with this. There's like like all these lines. Like, see, it's, 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 I don't like that. It looks weird. Wood. <laughs> uh, I guess I could just blacken everything though. But I think there's too much going up here too. Because I'm just going to end up blacking this shit out. Like, that's not bad, but it's just a little too skimpy, I think, for what we're going for. And that's a little too basic. Same with this. This is just basic. It's just like, here, do you want something dark? That, well, that's what she had on, probably. Before. Just give me something with a bit of pizzazz that just doesn't... That isn't trying too hard. I don't know. It's too skimpy, bro. It's too skimpy. And then there's too much going on. That's not bad. There's just too much going on. And this just looks like a clown. Like, I, I can't... Yeah. I can't... Was it this one? I think it was this one. I, it's just a bit boring. You know what I mean? That's what I mean. It's just like everything here is just a bit boring. Ugh. What was this one? No. I don't like that one. How about this? The tie-ups. Doesn't suit it. Why would they take out all the good ones? Like, oh, that's not. I don't like this though. I mean, it's not bad, but I don't like that. It just looks weird. It looks strange. Tie-up ones are okay, I suppose, but this one's too colorful. That look like these look like Bailey's. I know. Just get to the game. <laughs> That's why I could skip chat. You could skip chapters. Did I check this one out? 
Uh, I don't think that'll work. I mean, that's, that's, there's so many colors. It's just like, Jesus Christ, like, calm down. I mean, that one just looks like she's got, like, a parachute on or something. It just doesn't make sense. I mean, this one might, maybe we just change, what if we try this and we change the color? Let's try changing the color. So we don't want green, we want black. But they have the beads on it. You know what I mean? I don't like the beads. Hairy, stinking beads. Because you're going to have to keep them, right? Yeah, see, it, does, it just doesn't fucking work. It doesn't work. It's like they're like yellow and gold. I don't know. What was this one? This was the leather one and I wasn't sure about, right? I mean, that's, that's kind of close. I guess that's kind of close to what we're trying to achieve. What if we change the material to something else? Like a cloth. Instead of having it leather, just do a cloth. Oh, isn't there the, oh, isn't there the, uh, the carbon fiber? <laughs> the glow. It appears in white light. Just give her a carbon fiber. I mean, then it looks kind of bland, doesn't it, guys? Metals. Third material. A string. It's already a cloth, anyway. All right, let's just see the colors. We'll make that black. Second color is probably the the buttons. So you want that white, I would say. And the third color, do we want it? No, we want it black. Yeah. I think I can get on board with that. I think I can get on board with that. I mean, it's not special, but maybe if we throw like a top on it. I like an open. I, I think I went through this, but. Uh, was this the chain mail? I mean, we could always add. To, it doesn't, I don't want it to look silly, though. Wait, is that. Is that the mesh? I mean, that actually is kind of mesh. But I don't think that's the same one we were going for. That one's got a sleeve on it. Oh, dude, it's right there! <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> That's the one. That is literally the one. Are you fucking serious? Oh, my God. How did I miss that? Okay, well. There you go, I guess. How did I miss that? We spent all that time. Okay, now we can actually probably remove this. Yeah, see, that's what I was looking for, bro. See what I mean? It works so much better. Jesus Christ. I'm such a dumbass. How did I miss that? I know I gave her pads. I know I gave her, like, elbow pads and shit. I know I did. See what I mean? It's perfect. It's, like, a bit of everything. It's, like, casual, but it's also, like, kind of badass, you know? We don't want full sleeves. I think we went with kind of a daintier, smaller p elbow pad. Actually, was it something like that? No, I think it was more. It wasn't. That's not bad, though, because it's got the white accents already. Try and remember it. So one, two, three, four, five. So it's like four down if you count the one on top. But I might roll with something more like this. Do I want the actual pad on it? Like the, maybe something like that. I gave her gloves as well. That I don't mind. Let's just keep looking. There's not many of these. Or did I give her just a baby one? I'm not sure if I gave her a dinky one or if I gave her like... Because I had like wrist guards too, didn't I? I think... That one's got the hex pattern. It might be this one. No, it's not. I think actually this one I'm cool with. Looking at it, I think we can vibe with that. We'll just do that on both. I wish you could just mirror it. Just gotta be dark, dark, dark. Okay. 
Accept. So the right elbow pad will do the exact same thing. Um, shit, which one was it? This one? That looks about right. Yep. You can tell it's actually a different color from the start. See, it's slightly more gray. I think, anyway. I like the look, man. Alright, so the upper arm or the lower arm? One thing I might do, actually, I might just go hand first and I'll check the gloves. Because I know what I did. I gave her kind of like an open-handed, like kind of like this. I think I gave her that. Or something like it. I could be wrong. Let's just keep looking. It might be something else. No, I think it was this one. That might have been it there. And then I just changed it so it was just white and there was no bedazzling. Because you got to kind of have give, give her like striker gloves. So it was something like that. No, it definitely was not. Unless I give her like a short hand wrap this time. This one's got a bit of a leather strap going on. That one's kind of cool. It's got like a bit of the... It's all leather though. I wouldn't want to wrestle. Oh, you could change the material though. It might have been this one. It did have a white circle. So it is this one then. Let's just fuck with it then. Let's just go color. First color. It's like jewels though. I don't know if I like the jewels. Is that what I ended up doing? Because they're like, I think they're like jewels. But I think you're right. I think that's what I used. That's fine. Yeah, I can I can get on board with that. Okay. Um Okay. Unless I just oops, 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 oops. What if I did this? Yeah, it doesn't do anything. I thought I might have changed something a little bit, but Ah, uh, yes, the black nails as well, of course. Would it be under nails? Yeah. I can't see him. Oh, there you go. That's kind of good, I guess. Oh, really? Just look at the color. Short, black, simple. I figured you could copy it, but that's fine. Did I do a belly button piercing as well? <laughs> Torso accessories? <laughs> Gotta come out with that, right? What would it be under? Is it would it be a torso accessory? Oh wait, I haven't done bottoms yet, have I? Oh, because we're in tops. I remember what I did. It might be here. I, it might be here. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, here it is. I think it was this one. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. That was it right there. Yeah. So they really haven't changed much, have they? Okay, are we close enough? <laughs> are we close enough? <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. Back accessory. No, I think I'm good. I'll accept that. Okay, now we got to go lower body. I don't think we're rolling with under. So, let's leave the underwear, and then we'll just go to... I think... Did I do tights? No, I didn't do tights. It would have been bottoms. I think I did kind of like a, a short...
I think it was kind of like, instead of like a tight, it was more like a squared out short. Just want to see. That ain't it, fam. No, that ain't it either. That looks silly. Uh... No. Or was it this one? Uh, it's got a pentagram in it, so that's not it. Or was it this one? Did it have pockets on the back? Uh, that's gonna look. I think that's too short. I think those are too. Those aren't long enough. It might be this one. Might be that. That is what it is. Yes, that was it. It was. It was like a jort. Black belt. We want white button. Nah, black buttons. There you go. I am on one. Let's go. <laughs> All right, belts. We know it's got a belt already. Knee pads. Does it do both at the same time? No, it doesn't. Maybe something like that. Or maybe like that. That's leather, though. These are too long. Well, there's a lot more knee pads than I recall. I don't think you could see it, though. I might try and see if it does anything, but... I think I did something on the smaller side for this. Oh, that's got, like, snake skin. Maybe it was this one. That doesn't look bad. I don't know. Uh, maybe it does. Just straight up fabric. Like that. Like, you know what I mean? I mean, don't forget, you can change the color of any of these. Black with white trim at the top and bottom. I. Uh... This is going to be like a full set. No. What's with that? I don't know. Because my elbow. I might change it so it's just black because my elbow pads are not. You know what I mean? It's too big. What happened? Where's the small ones? Like more dainty ones, you know? Maybe this one? That's kind of big. Or maybe like this. Maybe it was like this. Oh, this one actually has a little trim on No, it doesn't. It looked like it did. These look pretty small. And then they end up looking huge. It wasn't like that, right? They were just straight colored. That's too high. Yeah, how is that even? That's not even a knee pad. I don't. Hmm. Is it? What's it made of? Oh, that's this. That's like. Oh, it's got like a mesh on it. But it's a different mesh to my shirt. Actually, no, it's not. You could get away with that. That one's definitely the smallest, but it's leather. I don't like how it looks. Oh, what about these ones? Hold on. These are kind of little. Those are very little. I think they're a little too little. I'm going to have to... I'm sorry, guys. I feel like I'm wasting a lot of time. I want to get to this. Maybe I should just roll with that. 
Let's see how that looks, and then we'll go from there. This one, right? Okay. Socks. I think we just want low. Do they even exist? Those look very strange, don't they? Why is everything high? Because she would have I would have given her low socks. I know that. Maybe I just didn't give her any. Let's go back. Boots and shoes. I don't remember what I gave her for shoes. It honestly might have been something like that. That actually doesn't look bad. But they're kind of high tops. I wonder if I want low tops. I don't think giving her like... Or did I give her something like this? I might have given her something like that actually. And then just put a little white accent. That actually looks pretty good. I'm happy. I think I'd be happy with that even if I don't find... Those look hilarious. Have you noticed the women's shoes so far are looking better than the men's? Fuck it. I'm just going to commit. I'm committing to that. Do I want white? Yeah, we'll do white laces. That'll be black for sure. Third color is the main. Also black. Should I just black them out? Okay. Let's take a look. That's pretty good, honestly. I'm happy with that, honestly. The difference is there's a tattoo now. <laughs> I like that, honestly. I, well, I picked it last time. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to copy this one and paste it over here. And then we're going to edit it. Um, and we're just going to add a jacket. I, I don't remember what I gave her. Um, top. It was a jacket, so it really just depends. I have to spin it, honestly. I'm going to have to spin it. It was almost like a jean jacket, I think. I don't know if it was a jean jacket, actually, but... It was low enough that it covered her back. I know that. Um... That's too big. Where are the thinner coats? What about that? Oh wait! Oh, oh oh! There it was! I dude! I just hovered! I just saw it! Where was that? It like pre? I saw the preview. Oh no, that's not it. It's like that. Sorry, it's like that, but that that's not that. Was it this? Maybe it's the open version. Is this an open version? I mean, I don't think that's it, but that could work. Come out with the leather. Unless it's like this one. I remember it was kind of denim-y though. Because I've changed... I know I would have changed the color of it. See, that's too bulky. I remember it was almost... I think it was like one of these. It wasn't... I don't know actually. No, that's not it. That ain't that wasn't it. It's it looks too broad this time around. I don't know. And it wasn't leather. Again, well maybe it was actually. That wasn't it. 
can't, I don't think it was short. It wouldn't have been short. I remember it was low enough to cover her back. What's up, AJ? Oh, wait. Maybe it was... Maybe it was just a sleeveless hoodie. Dude, wasn't it... Wait, wasn't it a sleeveless hoodie? It might be this one. Let me see. I mean, that looks good, too, though, no matter how you look at it. And then images. And I did, like, lettering. And I did this. It's not it. Okay, well, I'll come back to it then because I kind of dig it. I mean, it doesn't, I guess it doesn't have to be exactly the same, but. Oh, it was kind of like that. I see. It had a bit of a gap. So, it's, it, oh, wait, where, which one was it? It's gapped like this. So, it wasn't like a hoodie. It had that showing, right? Yeah. So, it's more like this style, I think. But. Not leather. Maybe this one? I mean, that's kind of badass. It suits it, but it's, uh, we need a blank one. If there's something like that and it's blank, I think that's our money. Quite a few zippers, hey? I mean, it's probably still in the game. I wouldn't doubt it. I must have gone past it because these are the long coats now. Can you sort by? No, not really. See, that's what I mean. I don't know what it's categorized in, so you're better off just leaving it. No. Where are you? Is that too aggressive? That's a long coat anyway. The hearse was like short. I'm pretty sure it was like a short sleeve. Yeah, because that's kind of the style, but... Oh, that's heart. Hitman. That's pretty badass, though. I don't like the rings on that. It looks weird. Okay, I'm, I'm not in the right spot, I don't think. I mean, because even that's not bad, too, you know? But I think it's just a little too... I want it to be a smaller material. See, that one's honestly very close, but it's just... It's got something on it already, so it's like, okay, well, we can't use that. That's just sleeves, right? Pretty much. What was this one? I mean, that's kind of, like, again, it's got these random rips, but that's kind of the style we're looking for, right? That's the style, but. That's just, like, that's too suity. Unless it was this one. That was it. That's it. That's the one. That's the one right there. That is it. There you go. I knew we'd find it. <laughs> it was leather. Interesting. What if we do material? Oh, but I said, I, I told myself, you know, it is okay. It looks the same. It's okay if she had a leather jacket on. That's fine. All right. Let's go to images. Now we can write it on there. And I put this on the base. I think this one took me longer than my male career, career character. To be fair, I put way more layers on her, though. That's the difference. 
And it was in this lettering. And we got to flip it to the back. Oh, hello. Sorry. It was down here. And it was pretty small writing. Just enough to maybe fit between... Oh, that. Or wait, hold on. Do we want it just above? Nah, that's fine. There you go. Done, Scoes. I'm happy with that. No, Disney, no. You've been very helpful. Thank you. I am not sure, though on the hair color I don't know I can't I think that's fine color unless we'd rather do this I don't I haven't decided do I do I want her hair wait what happened to her ear did it take her shit off like what happened to I think it removes the I don't know if we want the hair down this time I haven't been able to find it. That's what I mean. Like there's, I didn't think it was the same either, but I, I don't know which one it is. I swear I saw it and I thought that might've been it, but now I can't find it. And I'm like, that was it there. And I'm like, I can't find it anymore. Cause it was more of it was in the front. Right. But I swear they added hairstyles. So it's like, it's harder to find it. Went over her right shoulder. Oh, it was like one-sided. Uh, yeah, see these. Oh, maybe it's down here. Like, no, it ain't it. I see what you're saying. Wait, was it this one? That was it. That was the style, wasn't it? It's a little more parted, right? That looks right. Okay. I just realized I made a mistake in the sense that now I have to replicate that. Yeah, because then you can actually see her ear. I know I changed the piercing up. I know I changed that up. That's different. I think I prefer this. But now I got to... That's Yeah, see, I accidentally forgot that I had to... So I have to change the hair here again. But it should be in, um, it should be. Well, I gotta get moving. This one here. It does look better, doesn't it? The hair changes a lot. All right, so we'll change the color. It should be under my recents. Yeah, that's better. Okay, I, I'm content with that. I will take that. There we go, guys. Money. I know the face is a little different, though. But they had different faces this year, so it's just the way it goes. But that's pretty fucking close. Sweet. All right, we're good. So personal info. Name information we've got. Custom images. Oh. The menu screen pose. Oh, whoops. Whoa, hello. I can have her in the coat, which I think makes more sense. I don't know, should I do the little, the little dick one? Or is the little dick one? I know it exists. 
I mean, she could be like, do like a sexy pose, but not too much because it doesn't suit her style. You know what I mean? Like, that's too much. Like, I want to do the, like, she's savage. You know what I mean? <laughs> there it is, like, little dick. <laughs> it's got to be that, man. <laughs> oh, crowd reaction. Here's the thing. Since there's no story mode anymore, or, like, it doesn't matter if you're a face or a heel, I think I'll have them cheer her. Maybe a mix. Crowd balance? Crowd balance. Uh, I don't know. We'll leave the cheer. USA? I don't think so. That doesn't make any sense. Put your sign down. I made a sign. <laughs> Thank you. Um... The Snickers. Guy behind me can't see. Good enough. Who cares? You might as well just do the regular. Side plates again. The dub. The dub. Except. Alright. Performance. Entrance style. The Lucha. International sensation. No. Here she goes again. I think it's a little too girly for our style. I think I ended up picking the boxer, though, honestly. Yeah, I actually did. <laughs> Choose victory. They don't even have a celebration for her, do they? Lucha. Belfast Brawler. Maybe that's what I picked. Disney, thank you for the Super Chat, bro. Glad you got. Well, thank you. Yes, man. I appreciate it. So this is Belfast Brawler. And then Beast of Belfast. That might have been what I picked, too. I don't know. Sign of the Times. I don't remember that, though. See, they only give you a few to start with, and then you got to modify it yourself. Holy shit. Have I really been playing for an hour 45? That is insane. I'm so sorry, guys. I feel like this is taking me way more time. It's taking me 30 extra minutes to do this. I don't know if I like that. Maybe I'll just do this one. Let's go with that. Okay. Choose taunt. Shadow boxing. I like the warming up. Signature. Downward spiral, which is pretty sweet. I could probably pick that. Pump handle. Suplex. Nah, too long. Spanish fly is fun, but she's more of a striker, so it makes sense. No, nah, I'm going to go with the downward spiral, honestly. It's just big old DDT. Nothing wrong with that. The finisher, Kinshasa. That's what her finisher was, I think. It was just a big old kick because she's a striker. I mean, fireman's carry cutter, which is... I don't remember what I made. I think it was something similar. It, the striker ones are the same. Sup uh, submission. Gord Buster GTS. I think it was the Kinshasa. It was just a big old kick. Let's rock with that. Okay. Stats. So, again, with hers, resiliency is so handy. And there's also low blow, poison miss, comeback. I'll leave it because the other ones are kind of useless. So, there we go. I'm ready. Yes, finally. Now we're 45 minutes later. Again, if you're not watching this live, if you're watching this live, which right now you guys are, you can't skip it. But if you're not watching this live, you can skip it. So there shan't be any complaints. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Finally. Come on, loading screen. As the mystery SmackDown competitor, shouldn't I have been shuttled in secretly or something? The whole golf cart with the black sheets get up? Don't worry about it. No one knows who you are. 
Yet. No one knows who you are yet. Tom. Justine. And LJ, too? It's so good to see you both. LJ? Same here, Tom. Legend. Wait, do you even Legacy still Junior? go by LJ? Man, it was always a hoot and a half having you backstage when you were a kid, dressing up in Justine's gear, being her shadow, her little Justine. But suppose you're not eight anymore, huh? Oh, little Justine. It's fine. But I am trying to get known on my own here. I've heard. Good thing you're debuting tonight. The secret's pretty much out backstage. A few more hours, and it'd be out to the entire WWE universe. You doing something here tonight too, Justine? Nope, just here to support my niece's big moment. Come on. Surely you'll find some way to steal the spotlight. <sighs> Molly. Justine. Wow, I I've got a... I, I better go check on the, uh, yeah, I got no good reason, but I'm going to leave now. I heard you were working backstage these days. Beat sitting at home, talking to the internet. <laughs> it's called a podcast. It's a shade on me. It's very popular. <laughs> but I'm not here to resurrect old rivalries. Would you really call it a rivalry if there's a clear conclusion and undisputed winner? I was actually here to greet our newest WWE superstar wish her luck she doesn't need luck and let her know that i'll be working with her to get her ready for her survivor series debut this evening is that all right no that's great i'm so excited to be here representing team smackdown i told you we'd be on great. smackdown get settled and then let's talk justine please don't make things more difficult for me on my first day besides you two were friends once Sorry, you're right. It's just... Well, you know what she did. It might be ancient history, and there's no reason for her to mess with you, but... Be careful with Molly, okay? I'm gonna go say hello to people. You alright? I'm alright. I'm ready. Yeah, you are! <laughs> I love you, kid. You'll do great. All right. Following in those footsteps. Yeah, no, you can make an entrance. Just when you make the initial, anything customizable, they give you kind of like a set. So anything to do with like moves and everything, they give you a set amount of moves based on what class you pick. But you can change everything later from the My Rise hub. So yeah, don't worry about it. They just give you something to start off with. Anyway. It's almost Survivor Series time. Who's winning the women's uh, SS match? Will it be Team Raw with Miss Charlotte, Ray Ripley, and Bailey, or will Team SmackDown have the upper hand with Liv, uh, Bianca, and their mystery competitor? I'm the mystery competitor. Let's be honest. I don't care what idiot SD is bringing. I'm gonna wipe the floor with them regardless. Team Raw, whatever. But who is the mystery teammate, please? I guess you'll have to find out. <laughs> Are there any stories up in this beer? No, not yet. Tonight I'm going, it's going to be my 20th WWE Premium Live event. So excited. I'll be the one yelling in the wrestling t-shirt. Real Justine. I have an inkling tonight. Who's going to end up as a pretty big day in the WWE history books? Super King. Hey, can someone give me a ride to the arena later? I love the stakes of, the, of a good old-fashioned Survivor Series match. For show. All right, so I'm curious to see if they're actually going to give me a attribute boost. And they are. That is sick. So the, the My Rise boost boosts everything. So our striking is our main force here. So if you look, let's put that up to a 5. I think my grappling, I'm going to end up running a lot anyway. So I'm going to bring it up to a 5. Defense. I still have 60 points to spend. She is a striker. Keep that in mind. Defense, I might have enough to 11. Uh, I don't know, maybe striking 7. It only costs 1. Maybe I'll get my submission up a few. Nah, I won't. I'm not going to be doing submission. I'm going to save it. There you go. I'm cool with that. That's a good start. Um, story progress I can't do yet. So... 
Let's just have a war with Charlotte. Oh, wait. Actually, I could talk with any of these people. Ava Moreno, she seems the most... She was the one sitting on the box. Hi, I'm... LJ. Little Justine. Yeah, I overheard. How oh, precious. Yeah. I was actually going to say I recognize you from NXT 2.0. Ava Moreno, right? You had some great matches with Cora Jade. I didn't realize you had gotten drafted to SmackDown. Guess your famous WWE legend aunt hasn't been able to get you up to speed on everything. Honestly, we've been pretty busy prepping for my debut. I'm a little out of the loop on everything else. Who's your match with tonight? I don't have a match on the show tonight. Not all of us are able to skip the line, LJ. I don't like that. I'm going to ask what's with the attitude. Did I do something wrong? What's with the attitude? Let me lay it out for you. A girl named Ava works her whole life to be the best athlete she can be. Excels at some things naturally, puts in the time to get better at the rest. Gets signed to WWE, continues to grind at the Performance Center doing everything the WWE way. Makes a mark on NXT 2.0, wins her matches, and gets signed to SmackDown. Sounds pretty great, right? Yeah, sounds like it. Some of us work hard. Some of us work harder. And some of us, LJ, get to waltz into Survivor Series and get put into a match that the rest of us, those of us who have done everything by the book, would kill for. My aunt is a legend, but I'm good at this. I got here on my own. I'm not just some nepotism signing. <laughs> got here on your own? We'll see what happens tonight. Maybe you are good, and you'll prove that. Regardless, I haven't been given the same opportunity on this brand to prove how good I am. So excuse me if I don't play nice with little Justine, the legacy hire. All right, that's some shade, but I want to give a bit of an attitude because it's kind of her style. Let's talk to Big B. Hey, nice to finally meet the EST of WWE. What? Isn't that you? <laughs> As the new S superstar in WWE, ready to show Team Raw what's up tonight? <laughs> you know it. That's exactly what I'm here to do. Now that's the confidence I like to hear. And remember, the rest of Team SmackDown has your back. Although, ideally, we would have at least met each other to get on the same page before today. Yeah, they said they were really trying to keep my debut a secret. I get it. I mean, the WWE Universe is going to lose their minds when they realize you're related to Justine. And don't think I'm not going to fangirl out and grill you after we win. You got to tell me exactly what she's like. I want to make my own mark. Listen, I love my aunt. I even spent summers traveling with her on tour growing up. But it's important for me to make my own mark in WWE. Separate herself. Tonight. You know the EST is all about standing out, so I understand completely. See you out there tonight. We got this. Let's go. All right, we'll finish up chatting with uh, Charlize Flair on. See what I did there? <laughs> I hope you don't think we're going to be friends. I certainly won't be taking it easy on you tonight. Why would you think I'd want to be friends with you got him <laughs> because we both come from famous wwe lineage but let's be real we're not the same you're right i'm better than you both <laughs> in the ring and out that's her style Ugh. i have a lot of respect for your aunt you not so much you're only here because you're cashing in on her legacy but do your best not to make all of us second generation superstars look bad okay Though it's going to be hard tonight when you're competing against me and the rest of Team Raw. Whatever you say, Charles. Charles Florley. Ooh, -wee -oo, I look just like Molly Holly. Uh oh. Sorry I wasn't able to check in with you sooner. It's always nuts backstage before a major show. And I lost a full 20 minutes to Happy Corbin, who wanted to practice a stand-up routine on me. Luckily, Xia Li overheard and protected me from his bad jokes. 
How are you doing? Feeling good about tonight? Honestly, I'm ready. I've trained my whole life for this. All right. Let's take that confidence, earned or not, and channel it into a great debut. For what it's worth, despite my history with your aunt, it really is my goal to help you succeed here. You guys have some history, huh? That's a conversation for another day. Stick around here long enough and you'll have history with everyone. Alliances, rivalries, heck, we even have our fair share of weddings. Although those rarely seem to work out. But let's talk about your debut. I've got your custom gear ready. Custom gear? What do you mean? Honestly, I get it. I wouldn't want to debut in it either. No, I mean I have no idea what you're talking about. Huh. Not sure how this didn't get to you, but WWE management it's not gonna asked suit that you debut at in a look all. that honors Justine's legacy. They did the so same thing as the male. Inspired by what your aunt wore when she won her first championship. Dude, if it's green. Not that that specific match would be the moment I'd choose to commemorate. Justine got lucky. But I brought my own gear. I designed it myself. Besides, I'm not sure if I want to use my aunt's image to establish my own. I wouldn't either. I want to make my own mark. Listen, despite my personal feelings, it never hurts to get a rub from a WWE legend. It's also probably not wise to go against management on day one. But I know it's important to stand on your own two feet around here. Ultimately, the decision is yours. What do you want to do? I love my aunt and she taught me a lot, but if I'm going to make it here, I need to make my own mark. I'm going to wear the gear I designed. Suits her. All right. We'll see how management reacts. Standing your ground can really go either way around here. It's all going to end up but with me winning to make your SmackDown own mark, Women's Championship. Don't worry. You better have the performance out there to back it up. Go get changed. It's go time. Interesting that your, your aunt's former rival is kind of like your mentor in this, but that's fine. I mean, come on, guys. So I'm glad. I wonder what it would look like, but it wouldn't suit her. She'd have this green, like, tights or something, maybe a different color, I don't know, and then, like, her black lip. It wouldn't make sense. Black lipstick and all that stuff. That does not make sense. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not... To be honest, when I think of a... a like, I don't know. It's a pretty common look, isn't it? You know what I mean? The whole... Like, her aunt style. You, we've seen this before. You know, it's not exactly new. I got to turn. Oh, we're in war games. It's Team Raw ready to battle for brand supremacy. The following contest. I cannot. I cannot match. take Bailey in the three, back. I can't. It does Ripley, not suit her. <laughs> what? This is so it's such an eclectic group of superstars, superstars right now red brand are here to prove they don't need to play mind games to come out on top what's or funny is the fact that team smackdown has i'm curious if smackdown is going to be dressed in blue strategy. or if i'm just going to be in my outfit i wonder what it would i wonder if I, I, I the thing is i wonder if i should have honored it but it's not her style it like i don't like our character here is meant to be standing her ground and let him know you know what i'm saying the wait is over for the reveal of Team SmackDown's mystery partner and their opponents, Miss Melissa, Marissa, Liv Morgan, and Bianca Belair. Team SmackDown. Do you know who that is? The final member of Team SmackDown is none other than the niece of WWE Hall of Famer, Justine. The last legacy superstar I remember debuting at Survivor Series was The Rock. No pressure, kid. All right. See, that looks, that looks so much better than anything that they would have... I would have looked so vibrant and, like, you know, green and what have you. I don't know if it would have made sense. Hold on tight. We're about to witness one of the most anticipated Survivor Series matches in years. And one of the most anticipated debuts in years. This rookie superstar could be the second coming of her legendary Hall of Fame. We're going to have leggies. Justine. Don't get your hopes up, Saxton. By the looks of it, I'd say this rookie's here to blaze her own trail. I love the strikes. I like that. That's going to be a good one. Double leg drop. 
One more little... Oh, it's always the last attack where they start coming back from. Have you noticed that? She turns it right around with a counter. Vicious running knee lift. Hit Rhea while it's standing straight. All right. She knew she'd kick to the midsection. She certainly has the Hyping people up. Something's going to go down. Looks like she's setting up for the Justine Jammer. She's putting her own mark on an old classic. No! Charlotte Flair has anything to say about it. Oh, I hurt my leg. Oh, no. This one might include a hurt ankle. And Rhea's taking advantage. Riptide. Cover by Ripley. Help out. What? With the elimination, Team Raw now has the advantage. I'm gone first. Let down for the Blue Squad. She definitely didn't expect to be out so early in this match. The top rope mishap and apparent ankle injury played a key role in that. And it looks like Charlotte Flair is determined to add insult to injury. Oh, man. Wait a minute. Hall of Famer Justine is here. In her well, jeans. seen in a WWE arena for over a decade. One thing is clear. Thumbs the up. The WWE <laughs> Universe is thrilled to see this venerated six-time women's champion here tonight in any circumstance. And it looks like Justine is just as thrilled to see them. Things might not have turned out how she wanted for her niece, but she's loving this crowd. I'm just hoping that Justine can get her niece on the right track. After this debut, she certainly needs some guidance. Well, that sucks. There's always some sort of cheddar. Like, we were dominating the ring. You know what I mean? And they're just going to hit us with the cheese. And we're going to be known as LJ this entire career. I don't know if I like that. I guess we'll see. All right, Team Raw women showed that they have both performance and fortitude by beating SmackDown in Survivor Series match. Congrats to the Red Brand. Didn't hurt that. Ms. Wilson made it easy for us. Thanks, newbie. Oh, Charlotte, didn't waste any time in calling her out. I like that she was trying to do her own thing, at least. Must be hard to grow up with the real Justine, as much as I love her. Damn. Some shade. We're still not in the story. When does the story progress happen? Okay. Should we talk? Who do we talk to first? Let's talk to Liv. We let her down. What was that about? I like to show off as much as the next person, but that was embarrassing. Don't talk to me like that. You certainly don't always have a perfect night. I'll talk to you how I want right now. You just spoiled the match for all of us. Don't expect this to blow over with the SmackDown Women's Locker Room. The Raw women are going to rub this loss in our faces for a long time. I'm wondering who I should speak to. I think the one in front is usually your main, so let's have a word with Justine first. Did you hear that pop? What? The sound of my ankle popping or my career imploding? Oh, how is that ankle? Or more importantly, how's that ego? Ankle's okay. Ego? That's another story. You really went for it out there, huh? Didn't hold back. I'm the niece of one of the most venerated WWE legends of all time. I needed to make my own mark and stand out. I still do. You need to take your time and not overthink this. But you're still learning, and regardless, Charlotte acted out of line. If I was medically cleared for in-ring action, I would put the queen in her place. Believe me, I'm mad about it. But I'm not sure that Charlotte did anything you wouldn't have done. Nah, but one of the perks of having a career-ending injury is getting to apply unrealistic standards on the next generation. Why do you think I liked training you so much? Right. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to leave if you need to talk, but I got word that WWE management wants to chat before we head out. Something about the buzz online, whatever that means. You okay? I'm not, but I will be. No one ever said this would be easy. Just gotta work out the kinks. That's my girl. I'll find you in a bit. Come on, let's go. I can't say that was the debut we were hoping for. I don't know what happened out there. I wanted to make a name for myself based on my own talent. 
What the hell is on her pants? Like, look, 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 guy. What is on her pants? What is that? Did you spill something? Did she spill, like, green onion soup or something? Like, what's going on? And you decided to do something showy. Took your eyes off of what was happening and let Charlotte blindside you. I'm sorry. I won't let it happen again. I got carried away. There's, you have to know when to talk to who. You did. In a certain while. Remember, you're here because you're good. And you could be great. I wouldn't have any patience for Justine's brat, no talent niece. But don't expect everything to come all at once. You could have gone out there and had a solid match, and that would have been enough. Win or lose. But you bit off more than you could chew. Maybe you're right. Of course I'm right. I'm a WWE legend. I'll do my best at damage control. You're already off to a rough start with management. They weren't thrilled that you decided against wearing the tribute gear. Although, maybe I can spin that, since it wasn't exactly the performance they would have wanted to be associated with Justine's legacy. Actually worked out for the best. Nope. They'll just associate it with little old me. Already seen the chatter on social media. Great. You're worried about social media at a time like this? Get your head in the game. I'll see you at SmackDown, and we'll take it from there. All right, well... We're still not in. We're still not. We still haven't started. We haven't. We haven't. Cut the malarkey. But what people forget is that for someone to win, someone else has to lose. It is better to win, though. Of course. Actually, speaking of winning, I have a few developments that Ruthless Digressions listeners will be thrilled to hear about. Oh. Care to share with those listeners or your co-host? Like I told my niece at Survivor Series. Patience, Robin. Patience. Is that it? That little cutscene? I'm sorry. I know this is like a me problem, but why didn't they make her stand like... In the center of these stairs for this picture. Like, look. See, it's, like, over too far to this side. If you just shifted her a little bit this way instead of that way, she, her legs are not in line with the stairs. Like, it's a game. You can do that. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's not centered. <laughs> what the hell are they doing? <laughs> Can't take it. Oh, man. What up, Swift? How you doing? Hey, I got pulled into an all-hands-on-deck meeting with top management. Who knows how long that will go. Get settled me, grab some food and catering, and I'll come find you and get you up to speed when I'm done. Welcome to SmackDown. What's up, Arlena? How you doing? Anything else? Oh, Dewdrop's the current champ. Hi, I'm Tom. LJ, welcome to SmackDown. How you doing? I'm sorry that Survivor Series didn't go so well. Yeah, not the debut I was hoping for. Well, you're here now, and have your whole career ahead of you. Listen, I may just be a cameraman, so I can't help train you, but I've been with WWE long enough that I pride myself on knowing how things work around here. Happy to answer any questions you might have. All right. How do I get a match? Same as the last one. Well, you'll want to talk to Molly first so she can let you know what management has in mind for you. But generally, i found that matches in WWE, whether w they come w from management or not, get booked in one of two ways. Talking to people or checking your social media messages. What do you mean, talking to people? I mean just that. Aside from being booked by management, you'll find that chatting with other superstars, the crew, or even other backstage visitors can lead to opportunities. Sometimes people might have favors to ask of you. Others might have bones to pick. You know how they say it's who you know? That's definitely true in WWE. Who you know and who you talk to. Huh. Seems so easy. It is. Don't try to put too much on your plate, though. You can always tell somebody who wants a favor no and come back to it later, or defuse a tense situation. But once you agree to something, you'll need to see it through. I understand. So take it one thing at a time. Makes sense. And the other way to get matches? You mentioned social media. 
I'm gathering I shouldn't try to go on a social media hiatus while I'm a WWE superstar? Definitely not. Even a dinosaur like me relies on that instrument of the devil. If you don't check your social media, both the public feed and your direct messages, you might miss out on opportunities. Not everything there will lead to a match, but it's worth keeping up with what the WWE Universe is up to. Okay, so check my social media feed and direct messages. Got it. Any other questions? Or anything you'd like me to explain again? How do I improve my skills around here? It's just like the old saying goes, practice makes perfect. The more matches and experience you have in WWE, the better. From there, it's usually up to you to determine how you want to apply what you've learned, whether it's improving your strength, getting better at submissions, or putting more power behind your punches. You get the idea. You said it's usually up to me what I want to improve? Sure is. Occasionally, you'll find that certain kinds of matches will benefit you in a more specific sort of way. But if that's the case, you'll know that going in. Sports entertainer insight, I call it. Okay, cool. Any other questions? Mm, what would you recommend in catering? Honestly, the tofu. Even if you eat meat, give it a try. The seasoning is incredible. Noted. Any other? That's it. Thanks, Tom. I think I have the info I need. Fantastic. Good luck tonight, LJ. I'm certain I'll see you around soon. Hey, Dan, how you doing? No, it's different. It's it's quite different, Pat. Hey! Welcome to SmackDown. Thanks. You know, after what Liv said at Survivor Series, I wasn't sure if I'd be getting the warmest welcome today. Oh, you won't be. But I have a different perspective than the rest of the girls. In fact, I'm actually usually pretty rude to the newbies because, well, I don't want them coming for my SmackDown Women's Championship. But I don't have to worry about you at all. But I plan on coming for that championship. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're hilarious. After your huge mistake in the Survivor Series match, I know that must have been a joke. I don't have to be rude to you at all. We can be friends. I think we're done here. So, I know I didn't exactly get the best start, but I've got my head on straight now, and I'm ready to go. That's great to hear. What do you have for me tonight? Now, here's something that's less great to hear. WWE management thinks that after everything that's happened, we should take a beat before we put the spotlight back on you. Don't worry, I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. But I need to redeem myself and show the WWE Universe what I can really do. I need at least a little spotlight. I think you might have to settle for no spotlight. Backstage sentiment on you is not good right now. You may be a SmackDown superstar, but you've got an uphill battle if you actually want to be on the show. So my match tonight is... Non-existent. Ah. Ah. What can I do? I don't want to just sit in catering. No one does. But this will all blow over. My advice until then? Find some way to make an impact. Be so good in the ring that they can't deny you. How am I supposed to do that if I can't get a match? I said I couldn't get you a match on SmackDown. There are other opportunities to wrestle. Actually, I can pull some strings and get you on main event. You'll need to find an opponent, though. Most of the roster is pretty busy with commitments on SmackDown, and I don't have time to play matchmaker. Pretty busy or pretty mad at me, from the sound of it. Yeah, I may have heard those rumblings. Although, have you met Ava Moreno yet? She's pretty new to SmackDown, too, and also would have something to gain with a good showing on main event. 
We've met. I'm not sure she wants to work with me. Neither of you have to work with anyone. You just have to show up and fight each other. Get her to agree to that, and I'll set up the match. If there's some sort of beef between you two, lean into it. No one said the match had to be friendly. Hmm. Fair enough. So we're going to be starting on main event, which makes a lot more sense, honestly. Well, if it isn't little Justine, I would say I'm sorry how your big debut turned out, but I don't like to lie. What do you want? Let's cut to the chase. I want a match on main event. Molly said she can get me one if I find an opponent. It sounds like getting that exposure could help both of us. Are you interested? Sure. Great. That was actually easier than I thought. Oh, but let me be clear. I want a match on main event, but not one against you. I want to make an impact here in WWE and make my matches count. It doesn't help me at all to defeat some jobber. Damn. What did you just call me? The J word. If I wasn't perfectly clear at Survivor Series, I like people who've come up the right way and paid their dues. Not nieces who get handed special treatment because of what family they're a part of. And if that wasn't enough, I certainly don't like you after you proved me right and made a mess of things. Regardless of what you think of me, I don't see how just sitting around and complaining is going to change anything. I know as well as you do that no one else in the locker room is going to help you. You want a match with me? Prove that you have what it takes when you have to work for an opportunity. Pay some dues and stop waltzing around expecting special treatment. I don't waltz. We can agree to disagree. LJ. All right. I'll be watching SmackDown tonight. Break all the legs, probably the competitions. About that. I messed up. Looks like Survivor Series. I'm going to have to prove myself to get on the show after. Prove yourself shouldn't be a problem. What you're talented and hard worker. What's the plan? Guys, I'm going to try and get a match on main event. See, I knew you already had one. You forget that I know you're smart, talented, and capable of navigating the WWE machine. No one said it was going to be easy. I mean, to be fair, do I even have that match? Like, is she actually going to grant it? I don't know. I really don't know. We shall find out. I mean, it's been a lot of chat so far. You know what I mean? It's been a lot of talking. There hasn't been any major mission yet. Uh, technically not, Ben, no. The reversals are pretty not, pretty, but they're, they're tougher. They're, like, different. So, an unforgettable debut. Okay, now I think we finally have the story progress. A rough start, not on SmackDown. Wow, there are not many, ch wow, there's only a few challenges here? What the hell happened? This first start is really small. Well, remember we had, like, 13? Damn, they did me dirty with this one. Sorry, guys. One second. There we go. That was close. So, really, it's a good thing that I... Uh, uh, it's a good thing I spent more time <laughs> editing my Superstar because the first uh, chapter is mad short. So we have a challenge match, the WWE Decathlon mocap memories again. We were doing that one earlier. And then the main event. So that's locked. We have three main. But the thing is, the three main stories are pretty. Look, one of them is NXT and U. NXT 2.U, they say. I apparently have attributes 17. It's not enough to really up anything that I want. Let's check out the socials. Ruthless Digressions, exclusive. Melissa's working on WWE to secure next match. I want to make sure that a talent like Curse has the right first singles opponent. Can I reply to that? No. But I can select it. It's going to be a reply. You sure they're just not keeping her in catering since she bombed? My sources don't indicate that at all. WWE officials are very happy with their latest signing. With their latest signing. Alright, that's a main story. Interesting. Okay, and then Beth has an option for us. Which is... I'd rather do the challenge match first, if I'm honest. Usually get that one kind of out of the way, because it's a single match. Oh, I wonder where it is. It says it's active. Let's see what she has to say. 
What do you want? Hey, I James, told you my terms. On? Doesn't seem like you've paid any dues at all. Oh. Oh, so I have to come back to her. I see. All right. Well, let me go to the story progress. How come it says WWE Decathlon? That isn't... I don't see it. Uh, wait, what was the other one? Mocap memories. We'll start with that. Why not? That's going to be the social one. That's going to be with Beth. Got an interesting opportunity for you. 2K needs help recording some moves for next year's version of WWE 2K. And I'm not. And I'm coordinating talent to help. Interested? You just have to get into the mocap ring against another superstar and they record what you do. You game. Absolutely. And I get to be in a game? Absolutely. Sounds good. Super easy. But well, you're not in the game. Your motion is. Sure, as long as you do the moves correctly. Otherwise, you'll probably get some heat from the animators who have to fix your mistakes. But awesome. I'll set up your travel to the mocap facility. Have a safe flight. All right, let's do it. Optional story. Get as many of these bad boys done as we possibly can. All right. Of course it's her. Did she set up the mocap for us the other one? for some exciting mocap action too? Maybe not. I am. This is going to be awesome. Do you think they'll let us keep the funny suits? I hope so. Oh, man, I am such a big fan of your aunt. I always dreamed of getting in the ring with her. Sorry you have to settle for getting into the ring with me, I guess. Sure, but you'll be doing all her moves, so it'll be pretty close. Why would I be doing all her moves? Because you're doubling for her? Did nobody tell you? Awkward. Yeah, they want us to give them some new combinations of moves for classic superstars. Fans love playing as WWE legends. Don't worry, you're gonna make a great Justine. I don't want to make a great Justine. I want to make a great me. We may be related, but we are totally different wrestlers. I'm trying to establish myself as my own person, not just a copy of her. Yeah, fair enough, honestly. I hear you. I guess they just think there's no one in the world who's watched more Justine matches than you, so no one could do her moves as well. That's why they asked me to double my close personal friend, Trish Stratus. Hmm. I get it. It's just not what I thought I was signing up for. Obviously. Don't worry, it'll be fun. We'll get out there, you'll hit a couple of Justine's classic moves, and everyone gets to go home happy. You'll make believe you're Justine, and I'll pretend I'm Trish. Maybe there's a love triangle. Or I just double-crossed you and cost you a championship shot. I don't know. We can workshop our backstory on the plane. <laughs> this is going to be a long flight. Just a little bit. All right, go to the mocap set. This one should get me enough to get another upgrade stat. Where I'm going to put it, I don't know. But. What time does the MyRise crew get here? They're such a hassle to deal with. Oh. Did I say that out loud? My bad. Oh, bad timing. She's kicking my ass so far. Let's capture a grab attack. This isn't going so well. Sorry, fans. And then in the tw in, when they do 24. Oh, wrong button. My bad. Friendly reminder to all what the crew. hell? Please only use three squares of what? We have sensitive Dude, I did a move and it's just like. It, uh, whatever. There's reversal. With a headbutt. I just gotta get a grab attack. That's it. Doesn't matter what it is. Mocap a top rope. Oh, she reversed it. Ooh, we haven't had a session like this since the one for 2K20. <laughs> what was that? You know what? Just do whatever you want. Why am I even here? No, up top rope, top rope. Cobes. Okay. Oh, heavy combo. And she suckered me in. I know 
was weird with no audience, but I don't know. WrestleMania at the Performance Center. That counted. They give me a bit of everything with this one. Come on, mix it up a bit. You've already got enough footage of that move. The Justine Jammer. Well, I gotta unlock it first. Do I have any over the top? I do. I'm so glad I do. I think they gave it to just about any. Well, no, I guess the bigs don't have it. You look great. I mean, not really. No one can look good in a mocap suit, but your moves look great. I thought he was simping for a second. Big old drop kick. I gotta get booked on NBA. Dribble with your left hand, dribble with your right hand. <laughs> now shoot. So much easier than this. <laughs> booked on two. You'll probably make more money. They make way more money than the WWE games do. Bigger budgets. Different team as well. Oh, I thought I got the reversal. Pick up the pace a bit. If we go into OT, I'm in hot water. I mean, I dig that move. Let's not miss. Wait, isn't it mid rope? Or was I thought because she this went top to rope last time. I mean, we won't use a large portion of it, but keep it up. One, two, that's it. It's over. It's Ding that dong, baby. Easy dub. Seriously, these things on, on the mocap suits look like reflectors. You know what I mean? Like they went to like, they got like bicycle reflectors. Man, No Mercy was an absolute gem of a game. I remember that was like one of the first games that really added all this extra, but like the things, you, the combinations you could do with, um, uh, you know, the ladders, being able to put, like it was one of the earliest games that let you do that. You know what I mean? Like, they added all this extra kit and everything. It was so sweet. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but... Okay, I have enough to get my striking up to that. What is it at right now, anyway? 82 overall. So, my striking already has a boost. This one's at 70. In the 70s. Running is in the 50s and what have you. Defense is... Like, eh, kind of lower. How's my resilience? Pretty high, actually. But don't forget, you're going to get bonuses for doing those side missions as well. So, I might do grappling boosted. We'll rock with that. Still an 85 overall. The WWE Decathlon. I don't know where this is sitting. That's what's weird about it. Unless it's here. Heard there's a little misunderstanding about mocap. Sorry, I should have been more clear. But the... Uh, but the game devs are really happy with the moves you captured for them. I could see more mocap future, not just doubling Justine. Well, I hope so. It's really interesting because I'm surprised. Hold on. There's no D. There's no. This is the only story, but there's supposed to be the WWE Decathlon Challenge. I've not. Maybe I have to finish one of them. One of these like ones here first. Maybe I should do the Cora Jade story. Because, yeah, I can't go any further. Let's do the Cora Jade story. Because I'll bet you with her, as, with Ava there is hey, the Hey, what's up? The last I was actually one. hoping to see you around here. You were? Yeah. I loved watching old clips of your aunt on the network when I was growing up. But it was so cool when you debuted at Survivor Series and made it your own. I'm all about that. See, here's the thing I don't understand. Some of the, whenever you get the real superstars in, you could tell that they had either like they wouldn't have filmed at the 2k studio necessarily because if you listen to like the main characters like molly holly and justine and all of them doing their their voiceovers they sound like they're in a soundproof booth but whenever the superstars do it it sounds like not the major ones but like the ones like they always sound like they're in a, a, a makeshift booth at their own house you know what i mean 
So she, they probably would have been like, yo, can we, can you record some lines or whatever? Anyway. <sighs> would have been cooler to win. What are you doing at SmackDown? NXT 2.0 doesn't take up enough of your time? Just doing some photo shoots and a little press. Like she's Honestly, in her broom closet right it's now. It's nice to be backstage at a show where I don't have to keep a lookout for toxic attraction. Not that I can't stand up for myself, but it's exhausting. Here's the thing. What they would have done is um, is they would have sent her all the recording gear that she would have needed, but they can't make her build a filming studio. You know what I mean? Like, that's, yeah, so they have to do what they can. Want some help? If you're offering, yeah. Honestly, I think they're just jealous. They may be hot and talented, but they could never do what I do. For one, they'd fall off the skateboard. You don't mind coming to NXT 2.0? Not at all. Let not at all. It's not like I'm spread too thin with all my matches on SmackDown. Let's do it. Let's go to NXT. I like that. I mean, NXT is kind of... I kind of wish they made this around the NXT storyline. Do you know what I mean? No, I, yeah, no, I know that, Adam. I'm aware. I just mean, like, that's that's going to unlock that final storyline. So I'm pro that's the main event one, which will progress this. But I'm kind of looking for that one. There's a challenge match that I'm looking for. I'm going to have to turn off... Um... It's your girl. Is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, from Canada, Miss Melissa Marissa. Yeah, this is definitely the entrance I used. Anyway, I just wanted to see it a little bit. I'll have to turn those entrances off. Big Irish whip. I like that you can now do that from anywhere. I like these striker moves. Oh, she's setting her up in the power bomb. Oh. And then into the rail. That's so savage. Dude, she's going to get counted out. We don't want to win that way. It's lame. Oh, she got out of that money. Dude, do I have to reset the count? Get in the ring. You're lucky I'm here. Get in the ring, bro. You're fighting me. The re the match would have been over, but I would have failed it. Because you're supposed to usually win by pinfall. Let's hit her with it. No, she's a striker. Oh, she got out of that money. What's that about? Oh, you're going to get the hot tag. Wow, that's lucky. I should probably get, let's get some, let's get some variety. So let's get, oh, oh. Oh, I tried to get that attack in. Hey, 
There you go. Pour Jade in here for some action here. She seems quick. Hell yeah, girl. Let's rock it. Oh, what happened there? How did she get up so fast? Oh, I hate when they do that slingshot, like, rebound. Because it's like... I don't know... I think a rope break is a great way to save stamina. I, I don't know if it does. Had to block that. How do we got to ignore it? Focus on your target. Oh, she got out of it. What's her What's her signature move? Oh, I, oh, she. That's what I mean. I I think I'm I'm low on stam, so I'm. Damn, I want to get that signature going. She's going for a pin. That's fine. You can change everything in my rise, DeAndre. Whatever you want to do. I mean, to be fair, you create most of your superstar in the beginning anyway. Oh, she, what happened there? I should get the reversal here. It's too far. I've been trying to hit her signature move for like an eternity, and things keep happening. Okay, let's get it. Charging it up. Adam, bro, I, you gotta stop doing that cap thing. There's too many caps and literally Nightbot is gonna keep timing you out. So, you should probably not do that. Because if you just end up caps locking every word, you're not really highlighting anything anymore. It's just all cap spam, so. No reversal op. I tried. A little Luthez. Let's go. Alright, let's get me back in here. Oh, she got out of that. And they still get to attack me on that. Like, see, I reverse it, but the recovery time was too slow. Actually, we're in we're in a bad way right now. Did I reverse it? I thought I did. Got it. Okay, I need to tag her in, but she's not where she needs to be. Like, look at that recovery time. Alright, I'm gonna steal her move. Too slow. Oh, wow. I'll hit her with my own finisher now. And she's stunned on the ground. That's it. We won. That was a good play. I used Move Thief. Move Thief might be better than Comeback, honestly, thinking about it. Because then you can use their signature move. Miss Melissa. Marissa and Cora Miss Melissa. Marissa. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, and that, because it basically gives you an extra finisher, whereas comeback is almost redundant because 
I don't know. I might I might get move thief because I found that I've I've built up my because comeback gives you your signature move like immediately. But I've also found that I get my signature move just as fast as I get comeback. So when you use comeback and you mess it up, you know you don't. So I don't know. Maybe move thief move thief would make sense for her too. I think I'll switch him. Try something new. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if that's going to continue. Like, if there's going to be any more uh, storyline for that. I think it was just the one. Because this one's all about match, match, match. You know what I mean? Yeah, see, that one was a quick story. Is that enough? No, we only have 11. So, what I'm going to do really quick is change. I don't know if it's under move set. Or if I can change that. Can I even change that? I'm going to go to move set. We'll see. I don't know if I can. I might actually be kind of dead in the water with it. Um, where would it be? Other attacks. Comeback. Movement. I know. I know. I might not be able to, actually. I might have... I don't think it's here, actually. Let's go back. I That one actually might be permanently locked away once you create it. So I think it's like once you have it, you have it. But that would be dumb. What do they call those again? I can't remember. You think it'd be under finishers? Maybe it was. Maybe it was under finishers. Because, yeah, I basically just picked the same two. But Move Thief would have made sense. Sucks you gotta wait that long each time, though. And yeah, the decathlon is still AFK. The Justine Charity Battle Royal. It's alive. It's an event. So we should probably do the Justine Charity Battle. And then the main event is when you go for what's... What's their names? Let me guess. Let me guess. Sammy's got it. Oh, no. Who's got it? Oh, it's under it's under appearance. Hopefully. Oh, I think you're right. Uh, performance, personal info, stats. Yes, stats. Thank you for that. Okay, so resiliency, I'm gonna keep, but I'm gonna remove comeback. So it's when someone attacks you. Uh, number two, I'm going to do Move Thief. Oh, they have to have Finisher stocked. But I think that'll be better overall for us, honestly. I think I'm cool with that. And it seems kind of cool to like... So whatever whatever Finisher they have, it'd be good because if like they have a Finisher, you can use that to your advantage and then stack your Finisher on top of it. So that could really come out in a strategy, you know? Dirty D's and the Dunder Cheek. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, Brad, that's usually what they do, hey? But, like, I don't know. I hear the powers that be are conspiring to keep you off of SmackDown. <laughs> they certainly are. WWE management has it out for me. I, too, have often been the victim of several conspiracies, most foul. Hang in there. Us persecuted need to stick together. Thanks, Sammy. Is that all he has to say? I hear the power. <laughs> I, too. Thanks. What's the point of that?
And that's another optional story. What about the DMs? Oh, that's kind of annoying. Anyway. Darren, thank you so much for the gifted membership. We can slowly make our way back up. There you go. Appreciate you, bro. How you doing? Uh, let's start over here. Corjay, that was sweet. Thanks for the assist, Melissa. Too bad that it was dark match. If they had been on TV, the WWE Universe would have loved it. But that's okay. It's a it's progress. Eva Moreno, real cute that Melissa decided to pay a visit to NXT. You know, a place that I helped build. But a visit and a single match isn't the same as showing up consistently, right? Paying dues. Whatever you have to say, girl. All right, Tasha Tastic is up. Get the scoop. They're holding a trial at the PC this weekend. Wonder if it's because certain recent hires and debuts hadn't worked out. What's the deal, Corey Klein? Why do you think the head recruiter for WWE is going gossip, going to go going gossip with you, Tasha? T TBH for once, I. To be honest, for once, I'd like to do my job without fans and the dirt sheets reading into it. How did you even find out about the tryout? A super fan never reveals her secrets. Well, since the tryout is apparently public knowledge now, any WWE super, superstars want to help out, still need some sparring partners for the tryout. Maybe this will be fast in sending individual DMs. Volunteer. I can certainly help test out a potential superstar skills in the ring. Um, did you mean active superstars? Awkward. Enough. Happy to have you. Thank you. Always nice to have a team play around. Everyone's got an opinion online. Hey, since news of the trial leaked anyway, can you leak the match result? I intend to make a statement. Try it out. Well, to be honest, Patrick, I'm not even sure I'm going to be playing Madden 23 because of how poorly Madden 22 went. I never even finished it. So it's like, I don't know. We're kind of at that stage. Bad start. That's really annoying. Yeah, I think this is that same match that we did against uh, Corbin. Dan, come on, bro. I hate that when you get on a start just because of one mistake. Oh, for God's sake, no reversals. There's no reverse. You know what? I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this today. <laughs> Enough's enough. That, okay, that was on me. It, it, same result. <laughs> same result. Just get a rope break. I don't need to. Just get her out of it. But if you can get out of it like that, it is a reversal, so. One. One. Three. <laughs> Some female refs have that. I love how they use literally everything the same from last year's for like animations and what have you. Oh, oh, like it's these training matches. They're, I mean, like I said, people will think you're doing something else. You know what I mean? There you go. See you later. Does she have the? Yes, yeah, she does. And it's a strike, so it's pretty safe. One. I like this move. That's so filth. Two. Do it. I'm going to wait until she says three. three. Oh, it's different. <laughs> it depends. Oh, she got out of that. It's always a gamble doing that. I do have a bit of a height advantage on her. Seven. She's gone again. Oh, hell of a gamble, and I risked it. No reversal option. Dude, you can't pin out here. What are you thinking? Oh, damn it.
Hey, Jason, it's going good. How's yours? I'll just throw her into the post. I didn't want to. Oh my god, she reversed that. Throw me into the post. Six. She's taunting. Just use it to get into the get in the ring. Seven. Man, that was bad timing on that. She got out of it. Damn it. Pretty crisp move. She's got her signature. One. Get up, get up, get up. I hate when they reverse the finishers. Or not the finishers. Well, signatures, things like that. That's how I stiffed armed her. But she still got the upper hand. You see how I successfully reversed it? And it still said that... That's dumb as hell. Got it. Big reversal. I have a signature, but I just want to hit her with the finisher. Because I think she will go out. I think that'll be it for Geneva. Oh, okay. But she is stunned. Yes. Is she still stunned? Or did, did, did that... I honestly probably should have hit her with a signature to give her her stun or so that I could get this move out. Okay. It, seriously, it's got to be game over for this. Like, if I can nail this next move, it's got to be game over, big players. I thought my finisher was different than that. Oh, because I have a run. I have two finishers. That's my that's my charge. But then I have one where I, I sprint and I use the kick. That's what I'm thinking of. But again, I, I think maybe I remember how I lost to what's his nuts. I think I might have. I, I remember I only got about six out of it, six attribute points. You know, in my male career, when I lost to Corbin. So I'm wondering if it, I got the same amount from that. Oh, it's still the storyline. Right, we're not we're not done. We're not out of the woods. Looks like you were right about making a statement. That was a well earned. Oh, and that was a challenge one too. No problem, Corey. I was happy to help. I'm just trying to show everyone what I'm capable of. Well, that was certainly a good start. How'd you like to give the trainers here another demonstration? Let's do it. What do you have in mind? Nikita Lyons, Caden Carter, and Zaya Lee are coming to the PC for a social media shoot. But I know they'd love to get in some ring time while they're here. Sounds good. I can hang out for another day or so. I'm sure there's a decent hotel nearby. Who am I facing? That's up to you. But you won't need a hotel. They'll be here any minute. You up for another match right now? I never turn down a match. I've been trying to get ring time for a while now, so I guess this must be my lucky day. Great. Who would you like to face? I don't really care. I'll face Zia Lee. Sounds good. I'll let her know. See you out there. I wonder if I should have just done the odd, like, just done the cycle and, like, land on whoever. Good start. Ow. Let's see if I can hoist her. See ya. Oh, man, those have not worked out well. For oh, that was a long reversal op, and I completely missed it. She's taunting me. Three. Oh, 
Oh, she's gonna let it slide. Okay. Bro, if I get countered out of this shit, I'll be pissed. Okay, she, she's resetting it. Good reverse. See, they've moved the reversals around. Like, they used to be, like, when they grab you, you're able to reverse that, too. But not all of them are like that, so... I was debating on going for a rope break, but... Oh, I missed my... F I tried to hit it with the fin or signature move. But she did her move before I could get mine out. That's annoying. That would have been awesome. She going up high? Okay, up instantly. See ya. I'd rather sacrifice it for that. Hell of a gamble, but we're risking it. Oh! I'll get her up and I'll do my running finisher. There it is. See, it's quick. One, two. Oh. I think she had to use resiliency for that one. That's a field. I love how big the strikes are. They're like so dramatic. Over to pin. She might easy get an easy rope break, cheeky rope break. If not, we're good. That'll be enough. Ah! Easy dub, easy bread. You guys know how it is. I'm definitely starting at Friday, Sanchez. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't wait on Resi 4. Hopefully, I'll get an early copy and I'll get it at maybe a day earlier, but uh, it's hard to say. I think this will be the first Resident Evil game that I've actually streamed as a, a breakout series. Because Resident Evil 4 Remake was the last one we did. Or 3, rather. And that was in 2020, right? Something like that. Try it out. Right, that's going to give us probably enough point twenty one, So I have enough to get Ariel running if I want. Which I think I do. Why not? Still don't know where this is. I don't know why it's not popping up. It's kind of annoying. It might might just have to wait. Had fun facing off against some strong competition in the PC today. Grinding. Someone's going to apply. That's not grinding. No one watching means no one cares. Win's a win. Win's a win no matter where it takes place. And for the record, sure sounds like you care. Don't flatter yourself. I care about you like I care about a bug in the windshield. It's only annoying until it gets wiped away. Huh. Cute. Alright. So we still have that storyline... I don't think there's anything else. Is is what's his name still here? Sami Zayn is still here, which makes me wonder. I don't know. I mean, those are gonna have to get done anyway. All right, let's just do this one. I've been thinking about your situation. I can help you get some ring time. Really. Sure thing. My podcast is sponsoring a charity show at a local school where I used to wrestle where I was starting out. It's good. For, it's for a good cause, too. Interested? Sign me up. I am. Sign me up. Awesome. You've always had such a great attitude. I love that you didn't even have to spill the deets. I can get you in the main event. It's an over-the-top battle royal. They're even calling it the Justine Battle Royal. How cool. That actually is pretty cool. Anyway, my podcast producers even got a few other superstars in, in the match alongside a good crop of indie wrestlers. Go out there and make me proud. I'll even put some money down for you. Don't worry. It all goes to charity. All right. The Justine Charity Battle Royal. Okay. The high school gym with the Battle Royal. And you can use this for any of them, too. It doesn't matter. Males, females. It doesn't matter. You can, like, wrestle whenever. That's why it's good to play as many things as you can. 
I've actually never played Code Veronica, but I have seen it played. I think I watched like a Let's Play or a speed run back in the day. Okay, sorry guys. I gotta turn those uh, entrances off. What the hell is that? Oh, she, oh I, I know her, she looks familiar. Does that, no one actually an announced them. Tamina's in there as well. You think there'd be a bit more published? Oh my god. Oh, I remember her. The one in the green is Shotzi, right? Why did it switch? We're gonna have to do some serious strikes. The face wash with the boot. That is some filth. Tamina wants in on this, so I had to switch it up. Get her down. Shotzi taking out Tamina. I'm still going with this move. Holy hell, it's a long one. It's an over-the-top rope, don't forget, so... Ground her. She can't walk. What? Oh, then she flanked me. That's see, that's some cheese. I was going in for Odyssey. All my work against uh, Odyssey were like, is like negated basically. That's okay, I'll go for it now. Oh! I'm in the tree! Dude, I'm in the tree! Whoa! Help! I'm just dangling! Oh, why did you have to go and do that? I thought we were on good terms. Pangrahita? What does that mean in Spanish? Because I know it's the crazy something or other. The crazy kangaroo or what? <laughs> well, she's confused. Tamina doesn't know what she wants to do. I'm rolling. Oh, she's gone! I had to give her a quick face wash. Oh, you ruined it! Okay, I'm gonna sit in the corner for a minute. These ladies be flying around. Tamina's getting the sauce. Ah! <laughs> Wait, hold on, I'm not done. Thanks for the save. I got two finishers stored. I'm gonna use it to eliminate a few of them, I think. This one I should be able to just yeet out the ring, no problem. There you go. Oh, she got out of that. She needed that reversal because that was a life and death situation for her.
Another reversal. She's gone. Now quickly switch. Quickly switch. Just a light one. Oh, I won! I didn't have to use a finisher. Let's go. I was I was prepared to like, you know, I was prepared to do something about that. People are gonna think it's fixed. You know what I mean? Like, did she win only because she was the daughter, or sorry, the aunt, or the niece, Jesus. Who knows? I didn't even have to use my finishers. That's the thing, they've, they've made like eliminating people a lot easier. All right, that's three attributes. Why is Drew here? Why did Drew take his place? Well, I heard you're making some waves lately. Waves in the kiddie pool, but waves nonetheless. Mm, maybe, but I didn't come to WWE to be in the kiddie pool. Didn't say that you did. Just like I didn't come to WWE to be pushed as the next big thing only to be ultimately set aside and fired. Why did you bring up being fired? Is this supposed to be making me feel better? Sorry that way, but admittedly it took a turn. Sorry, I, I should have been more clear. I expected everything to be handed to me, but you're doing the work. Don't let up. Those waves you're making will be noticed. Thanks, buddy. Drew's, it, Drew's been like very nice about this. Anyway, not enough points to get anything. Socials are still ringing. What an amazing night for the Justine Charity Battle Royal. A great event, and I even won money on the winner. And my niece. Donated it back, of course. Seems like, an, like a nepotism booking to me. But then again, Melissa is a charity case, so maybe it's appropriate. Paying dues. That's not nice. I still don't have that one mission that they want me to roll with. So, I don't know. Maybe it'll pop out after... Because we look at the story progress, there's only three more. It's alive, the event, and then it's this one. So this is supposed to be available right now. If it's highlighted, it means it's supposed to be available. So I don't know if it's glitched out or if I have to wait until I finish one storyline before it'll pop out. But if it's not highlighted, it means you can't. So that's why I'm not sure. That's why I'm, I'm worried that something's bugged out or I just didn't see it or whatever. I don't know. Let's just go do this Molly Holly one first, and then we'll kind of go from there. I've got some good news for you. You've actually got a match for me this week? Actually, yes. Wow, I wasn't expecting that kind of good news. Thank you. I should clarify. It's not on SmackDown, but at a non-televised live event. Dana Brooke was supposed to have a match, but she did one too many handsprings, sprained her wrist, and can't compete this weekend. Hey, that'll work. A match is a match, and if it helps me win a little favor around here to step up, count me in. Winning the match would help you gain even more favor. All right, let's do it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Canada, Miss Melissa Marissa. See, we're almost done this chapter already, so. She's like shadow boxing her way down. I think I chose this same one. I wonder what the music would sound like if creator mode was off. It's probably just some generic. Da -na 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 I can't imagine. Skibbity bop bop, skibbity bee. 
Skibbity bop buddy. <laughs> it's a little much. It is a little much. Don't get me wrong, it's funny. Mela is money. Well, I'll be the judge of that. But it's it's non televised. It's like one of those. It's like a house show, basically. House shows were fun though. If you ever go to a, get a chance to go to a house show, do it because they don't follow storylines. They just do fun stuff. They like yeah. They try and keep like continuity from what's happening on like SmackDown and Raw when they do that. But they adjust things accordingly. You know what I mean? They have a bit more fun with it because it's just to the show. It, or it's just to the live crowd. It's not about being on TV and following their main storylines. So if, like, someone's a heel, you know, they're still going to be a heel. But they kind of, they don't really break character, but they do alter their character's style for certain matches. Could have gotten the rope break as well, which would have taken the stamina off. Come on, dog. Sometimes you just gotta do that because nothing you do is working. Let's get that signature move. That's a pain in the ass. I might be able to reverse this though if she's gonna go high. Which she is. What a move. That's such disrespect. I got it with it, no time to reverse. Actually, I didn't want to do this. I would have done the, the super kick, but that's on me. I mean, this works too. No rope break, please. Yep. I'll take the dub. Here is your winner, Miss Melissa Marissa. I guess I don't need to do that every time. I got to turn off the entrances. You know, make things a little more streamlined. But yeah, this is... I think this is going to be one of the... This is a main story, and it's an event, they said. So, I don't know. It's possible, though, that the challenge comes from her. There. Yeah, see? I had to do that to unlock Adam Pierce's challenge. That was really quick, actually. I thought it would be way more, but... What are we saying? At 12 stat points. Socials are buzzing. It's so cool to see Melissa live. She won. Seemed like a completely different person from Survivor. Well, to be fair, I got a little bit cheese and lettuce. Anyone can get lucky, I guess. Paying dues. So, obviously, the, the mission with Ava Marino is going to be... Uh, pretty major. Nicely done. When he feels better, I keep doing it. In that picture, she kind of looks like Vicky Guerrero. Anyway, all right, there you go. So I was wondering, this is the decathlon. So what is that going to mean for Adam Pierce then? What has he got? I know you're having a bit of a rough start, but it's like I always say. Work hard, treat people fairly, and earn respect. Speaking of, if you'd like an opportunity to get some work in, I know someone who can put you through the ringer at the PC. Ever since she had to do a WWE decathlon during her PC training, she's loved giving newbies the same treatment. All right, well, let's get the 10% arm power and three attribute upgrade. 
I'm surprised there's like next to no no matches for this first one. Unless there's just more chapters. You know what I mean? It's possible they've done more chapters. We'll see what happens. Oh, grab combo attack. My bad. Not just a grab attack. I think she got out of it. Yeah, I was like, that's not one of my moves. She's one of the professionals. Didn't she claim to be like an honorary like heart in the last in the last game? That was her story in the PC. She was a heart. Now what? Next, Irish Whipper into any corner. Bye bye. Now, come on, come on. Next one, next one, next one, next one. Heavy grapple from the corner position. Oh shit! See, I hate how long it takes. And then they recover. It's so dumb, man. So heavy grapple from the corner. I'll throw her into the opposite one then, Kobe. Working this. The abs next. Form a crowd taunt. Cha cha cha. Form a dodge. I need her to get up. So just stop a mud hole until she reverses it. Dodge that like the Matrix. Now I need an actual reversal. Reversal. See if we can get that. Camel clutch, probably. I'll let her out. I, see, yeah, they don't let you just let her out anymore. If they let someone reverse it. Oh, I didn't see it. My own, my player was in the way. Really? Try and cut me a little slack. Or give me a little... Not slack, sorry. Give me a little bit of credit for... Russian leg sweep. Into the punches. Oh, she reversed it. Oh, I could have easily... Oh, that was sick. It was like a cannonball drop. Oh, man. What a strike. Unfortunately, that was a dumb move. I was pretty stunned, though, so I... She might stun me here. I, I might have to use my pickup just to avoid it. See, it didn't give me a reversal option, so now I'm going to get stunned because of that. I'm not stunned anymore, though. I mean, well, Teresa, it's too early to say. We're still only in the first challenge. Dude, I totally reversed that. There's no way. Did I reverse it? Yeah. No, I didn't. What the fuck? Okay. She's giving me the sharpshooter. Because, yeah, I thought so. She had that same storyline. She's out. Don't get me wrong. It was a bit touch and go. Of course she gets it first. Oh, it's so fucking annoying. You basically have to do a move first until they're kind of semi-stunned. Come on, get up first. It's just a finish or signature. And I don't want to do an instant recovery because I need to do a signature. You know what I mean? Get up. I could have reversed that. Oh, she's going to hit me. Just instant recovery. That one, I had to do it because... Too far, too far, too far, too far, too far. Got her. That's okay. We got time. 
I'm gonna chuck her out of the ring just so I can get some stamina back. So I gotta build up my my signature. She was staying there, so I guess get these moves going. Seemed like a big song and dance just to punch somebody. Let's get a boost here. Man, this one is rude. How many kicks do you think you need? Oh, see, that makes no sense. Let's quickly get that momentum quick. Okay, please don't reverse this. I've been like waiting. There you go. Now what? Finish with your finisher. She missed it. There you go. That time I got it. I'm assuming it's pin. Yeah. I think because I... Re oh, she had resiliency. That is enough. That should be enough. she gets it it says now attempt to win the match so let's just try and get her out with a submission that usually works there you go at that point it's going to be hard for them to tap out so let's just go that route Whew. All right, that was just the challenge. Now I think I just got to do... Ah, uh, yeah, see, now I can actually talk to her. This will set up the final storyline mission for this, uh, this chapter. Man, I'm surprised it's so short. That really sucks, man. I thought... We'll see how long the next one is, but the main event is next. So this is like the major... There's nothing else to really talk about. Heard Josie complaining about how you did against her in decathlon. If Josie's complaining about you, that's a cure. That's a sure sign you're doing something right. It is true. All right, well, let's go have a word with Moreno then. Someone's been busy. I'm not just having matches for your benefit, and I don't super appreciate your social media commentary. I don't really care about the motivation. Besides. I've realized something. What's that? Having a handful of matches is not the equivalent of putting in years of work at the Performance Center. You know that thing you have to do if you didn't grow up with a famous wrestling family? The so-called dues you've paid over the past couple of weeks are pretty insignificant. Ugh, you're backing out of facing me on main event? I didn't say that. Because I also realize I can harness how unfair this is for my own good. Even if you can't benefit from your pedigree due to your overwhelming lack of talent, there's no reason why I shouldn't. And like it or not, and I do not, having a match with you, LJ, will increase my standing in the eyes of the short-sighted, legend-obsessed WWE management. Especially when I win. So you're in? I'm in. But I can't just squash you on main event. If we want people to stand up and really take notice, we're gonna have to have one banger of a match. So don't hold back. I know I won't. You're determined to make this personal, 
aren't you? <laughs> if it encourages you to try a little harder than you did at Survivor Series, yes. Fine. I'll ask Molly to set it up. We can settle this in the ring. That's literally all I've been asking to do. All right. Story gates. So this will transition to our next one. Yes, I'm ready. That's we've done everything we can. Everything we can. Yeah, this first chapter was mad short, but you never know. It could make up for it in other chapters. I wonder if this next one's gonna have me give me a choice because in the mail one there was a universe. different. You know, I'm choice. not one for spoilers, but I have it on good authority that the next episode of WWE's main event is going to be can't miss. So don't miss it. Dude, she would not, if she's a professional podcaster, she would not have that set up. I'm just saying. It wouldn't be in an open room like that. It would, there'd be way more, way too much, like, echo and excess noise. It just, that's just the way it would be, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, that's a new move if you ask me. All right, here we go. I didn't turn it's off entrances, did I? Driven to live up to all the hype. Is it just the regular entrances? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Canada. Sorry, guys. Miss Melissa Marissa. Few superstars come in the WWE with higher right, expectations anyway. than this woman. At least this is, well, they always film, like, main event right before raw and it's always like a match welcome to main event where like Justine's one. niece is looking to put her survivor series debut in the rearview mirror against up and coming superstar Ava Moreno. i've seen ava at the pc and she's as determined to make it in wwe as anyone out there she'll be looking to make quick work of her unseasoned opponent come on corey give ava's opponent a chance rumor has it she's been hustling to get much needed ring reps so i, I almost chose her attire Oh, I tried to reverse that. I was because I announced my next move. Was ready for that. She was clearly I'll take it. For that. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. Endless knee strikes. Ooh, devastating kick. And oh, she reversed kick. it. That was a big kick. Hey, Solitaire, have been good. How are you? And reverses it. Oh, she ju she dodged that one. That was an absolutely haphazard, uncalculated risk. And I had no doubt that uh, play it on hard. Dearly for it. Oh, look at these kicks! Oh. Oh. Right to the face. Savage to the face. Double axe handle. She's getting back to her feet. Let's get her vertical. Oh, wait, what? That wasn't even a miss. The game just glitched out. Like, that happens a lot, man. Eats a punch to the face. Oh, my gosh. Terminating knee smash. Reversed. I'm almost at my signature. Really, bro? Early kick out. Referee ran on top of the action. She's not going quietly into the good night here. Making things very interesting. Now, that's... Signature move. Now watch, it's gonna tell me to use my signature move. Never mind. Okay, watch, it's gonna be a cutscene right here. Whenever it's a single strike. Watch her watch me lose. It was clearly an accident, Corey. Oh, she's gonna hit me with the chair. No! A chair, a down referee, and an opportunity. What's she gonna do? Use the chair or fight with honor. Fight with honor. Is she going to use the chair? That's our first choice. Guess she decided to fight fair. But we might lose. Ouch. Dude, if we lose this shit I'll, for a single kick. Dude, no. Fuck you. And Ava Moreno gets the win. Honestly, what's the point? It seems like she was trying to do the honorable thing, but it backfired. You'd think winning would be more important than honor, Byron. Either way, I can't imagine this second generation superstar is very That's happy. That's so numb. She's getting her grapes so crushed. One person's happy here. This could be the type of win that could really generate some momentum for Ava Moreno. That's so dumb. It's like, That's the story. <laughs> 
Honestly, man, I don't know why I did the honorable thing. It's not really our style. I should have whacked her with a chair. In hindsight, I would I should have whacked her with the chair. I don't know. I, I have a feeling like it would have been disqualified or something. The ref would have found it or something like that, and it would have been the same result. You know what I mean? I don't know. Now we're going to have to step through 16 hoops just to get where we need to go. But I could be wrong. I don't know. I, I thought... I thought... <sighs> Well, pretty pleased with how that match went. Of course you are. You cheated. What are you talking about? The ref certainly didn't see anything. And she missed anyway. You pulled out a chair. Ava may have done that, but you of all people should know that it doesn't matter what actually happens. It only matters what others, in this case the ref, sees or think they see. <laughs> Me of all people? What does that mean? I told you I would make the WWE Universe stand up and take notice. You planned this from the start, didn't you? Maybe not this exactly, but I knew I had to use an opportunity against you to make a statement. Didn't go exactly as I planned, but lucky for me, you don't even know how to cheat right. And now, everyone's talking about the victory I claimed over little Justine! Ava's right about that. It's the most buzzworthy main event match we've seen in a while. And not just the finish. You two are really going at it. It's got so much attention that management wants a rematch. Good. A fair one this time, I hope. Let me prove I'm better than her. Yes, because matches in WWE are always above board and no one tries any shenanigans. <sighs> but to your point, the rematch will be no DQ, which means shenanigans are legal. Good. I'm all about shenanigans. So we get another match against her. This time, we're going to drop the chair. Tonight... Let's takes on Ava Moreno with a no DQ match. Did you catch the first one? No, I'll check this one out though. I saw uh Melissa at live event recently and she left me wanting more. I'll be watching. And I'm team Melissa. Well of course, because I helped her out. Sounds interesting. Have to check it out. I've never I'm never one to sleep on great matchups happening on main event. We'll certainly be watching and doing a post match recap. I, I couldn't agree more, Eli. That's my, that's my beef with it. You know what I mean? Like, you're literally dropping the hammer. You throw it. You get a little kick to the face. How many kicks did I get earl, earlier in the match? You know, it's just like, it's not, it was, it, was it considered her finisher? Like, I'm sorry, I don't know what her finisher would be. So. Ready for one of WWE's most eye-popping. I mean, I think they'd probably bring this, this uh, rivalry to SmackDown. I think that's what they're trying to go for. It's the hardest working woman in you know WWE. Ava Moreno. I mean, they say that. But now we're just going to absolutely obliterate her, you know? But this is going to be one that's going to tell me, like, oh, win your rematch. So it's however I want. I honestly firmly believe that if we had used the chair, we would have been DQ'd just to set this up because it would have been a loss. And there would be no respect. But then again, it just seems like we're complaining about what's fair and what isn't. Because everyone uses a chair or whatever. You have to think she needs a strong result here to restore her confidence. I gotta try and go with the, the greasy way whenever possible, guys. She did her homework there. She's being prepped for something. Wait, I didn't get a chair. Really? I thought I got the reversal, but... Oh, snap. Hello. Ready to show her opponent what she's got. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. Oh, the forearm strikes, or the palm strikes, rather. Just not enough. Let's yeet her out. This is main event. You know what? Here's the thing. This is main event, bro. Great strength being shown here. Oh, she got out of it. Oh, no. I powerbombed her. The filth. Crossbody actually worked. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spitting in the face of danger. I prefer a chair. Moreno was waiting for that. Oh! She seemed to have gained the advantage. On main she event, this match would never happen. Oh, look at this. 
neck lock into it. Neck lock suplex. Got to get the chair She's out. rummaging around under the ring here. Oh, I feel like she has okay, that's embarrassing. Intentions for that chair. That's annoying, 2K. See what I mean? Like, ugh, just eat my ass. Throw her into the post. Of course she gets out of it. It's a reversal central out here, guys. Oh, man. Meeting the barricade. Oh, my goodness. I'm just kind of chilling. Is she getting the kendo? Yeah, she's going for the kendo. I got to get off this wall. I reversed it. Okay, 2K. There you go. Finally reversal. Okay. I reversed that, dude. If it doesn't, I'll be choked. Wow. The reversal's half work, man. Looking bad for her here. Ah, she had the reverse of the block out, so I knew I was toast. Ow. I got, I got no stamp. Oh, I got out of that. Sick. I want to make this one count, guys. This match. What a shot! I'm gonna go undress the announce table at main event. Someone's going through the table, guys. This doesn't happen on main event, just so you know. Oh, but she speared me. I have no stamina right now, so that's gonna be a problem. Uh oh, what's she grabbing? Kendo. It's either Kendo, it's one or the other. I'm surprised they have so little. She got out of it. I could tell. Yeah. I don't she doesn't have that animation. Ooh, she responds with a counter. She's able to get out of the way. Oh, she reversed that as well. Oh, that one is quick. Oh, she's squatting it out. Squatting too, my gosh. Makes the cover. And she's not done yet. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. And she's using this the disrespect. To all of her strength. What's she getting? No count out as she takes this fight to the floor. Chair this time. A steel chair? Something we all know could be a devastating weapon. Oh, heinous knee to the face. She's showing signs of slowing down. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. She's setting the chair up. This is not going to be pretty. Placing them into the corner. No one said anything about that chair. She's sent to the outside. This is what you call high risk, high reward. Go for it. Flying through the air and connects. Just crashing down with high impact. What happens next is anyone's guess. I can't wait to see. Might as well take it over here, guys. Why not? No, she is ready for anything. I'm hogging this. She's going to get sledged. She's got that sledgehammer and making her opponent aware of it. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. I don't know why the frame rate takes a tumble whenever they split it, it like this. Like she wants to take this match outside. Where's she going? Is this going to... Where are you going? All right, that's it. Dude, she's going completely in the wrong direction. I want to see where she goes. Is she trying to go in the back? This isn't a falls count anywhere. Where, where, <laughs> she's going around this way. Dude, you can get here from here. Let me help her out. Let me help her out. What happened to my sledgehammer? My sledgehammer disappeared, bro. All right, fine. I guess we're kendoing it. She took the long way. She was trying to get over here. She just took the long way. There she is. Welcome. No telling where they'll end up now. Do a move. I'm just clipping through her. Strikes. 
Wow! And she continues to take on an overbearing offense. Yeah, she has to start returning. Reversed. I can tell because that's not what that move does. Face first with a waistlock takedown. This is absolute bedlam right now. Brawling in the crowd amongst the unwashed masses. This is only going to get worse. Not what I wanted. It's not working. Off the oh. telegraphing that one. I mean, this is probably one of the safest places to be. Look at this. They emerge from the WWE Universe. I'll wait till she gets a little further away. She's in the ring now. She wants to take this match to ringside. What's she waiting for? She's looking more focused on gesturing rather than winning. Taking it to the floor. What's she going to do? Oh, she got out of that. I'm trying to get her to the table, man. Denied with an elbow. Oh, God. I, each one is all so different. Oh, not this stupid squat one. You can spend 16 years squatting it out. Please don't put me through the table by proxy. Good. Because sometimes, you know, the detection, the distance detection screws up. Come on. Oh, my God. Just do something at this point. It gets so annoying trying to get like get them to do something cool that you just end up giving up and just ending the match, you know what I mean? This fight is going down right Oh, well, what I I hit her but it, I think hers overtook mine. No reversal. The suplex. Down with the suplex. Oh, look at this. Oh, pump handle. Oh, man. I gave up on it thinking I missed the suit. I really got to be paying attention. And she's gone after her opponent's core a few times now. And it hits to the core. Keep coming. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. Perfect. And this is where I wanted to be. Out. Please don't reverse this. Here we go. I don't know what it is. But she's going through it. It's a power bomb. Oh! What the hell just happened? This is unbelievable. On main event. She sent back in under the ropes. Let's go for it. Makes a cover. She'll get out of it. She's got resiliency. I was sure this one was over. I could just uh, I could just make her tap. At some point, I do want to play it safe. I got move thief. I did. I could do one more, but I think that's where we'll end it. Got my money's worth on that one. 
A strenuous victory here tonight. Oh, it's no different. Desperate for opportunities it's no cutscene. I thought it'd be cutscene. My bad. At least it could be. I don't know. This is. Do you think it's gonna be a trio, like two matches, and then there's one more to really like tell who's the true queen of uh, main event? <laughs> guess we'll find out i think it's gonna be like that there's got to be a deciding match you lose the first one you win the next and then one final one to decide who's the best it's my guess anyway that's more like it i think i've proven my point i'm better i guess you can keep up with me when i'm having a bad day but better you must have lost count lj we're even we both have one win and one loss ava's right on that point Duh. Of course you'd be on her side. Do you really think I have it out for you somehow? Ava's right. As far as WWE is concerned, you're square. So, if you really want to settle the score, this needs to be a best out of three series. At least that's what management thinks. Fine. I'll beat her on the next main event, too. They'd actually like you to have the final match on SmackDown. Sweet. On SmackDown? Are you serious? That's what I said, didn't I? Then I can't wait to beat her on SmackDown. Oh, calm down. Act like you go here. Just one thing. The show's already been booked and is pretty tight. I could only get you a little time. So it's officially a five minute time limit match. My recommendation if you want to finally settle this, someone better win quickly. What a step. Is it just going to go right into the match, I guess? I don't know. Nothing on social? Surprisingly not. Hey, I've been looking for you, but I haven't seen you around the locker room. You have? Honestly, I haven't had a reason to be in the SmackDown locker room before now. Yeah, I've been wanting to apologize for what I said to you at Survivor Series. I think I was a little harsh. <laughs> I don't know about that. You were right. I was just thinking about myself, not the team. You made a mistake. Something I've done a few times in my career. Heck, I even crashed a wedding once. Not my proudest moment, but when you're in the thick of it, sometimes it's easy to get carried away. Anyway, I shouldn't have said everyone on SmackDown was mad at you. You weren't mad? Oh, we were. But if we stayed mad at every loss, no one would ever be friends. So I'm sorry. And I'm excited for your match tonight. As far as I'm concerned, you should have won that first one too. You had Ava on her heels. You watched our first main event match? Of course. Though, while I respect that you didn't try to cheat, you gotta work on your ring awareness a little bit. Yeah. Fair enough. Good luck out there. Thank you, Liv. All right, so we have to beat this one within five minutes in order to, wait, I have, I, do I have enough upgrade points for any? I don't think I do, but I'll look. No, not even the lowest. Well, I have enough for the for the submission, but we're gonna bypass that one. Five minute time limit. I think we can do that, no problem. And it's on SmackDown as well, so we got quite the debut ahead of us. I like that they, this is more. This one makes more sense because they started us on Raw immediately, and we won the championship pretty quickly. I like that there's like a bit of a come up story to it. You know what I mean? It's the second generation superstar who's here to write her own story. Second gen, I suppose. Second gen, yeah. It's scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Canada. Miss Melissa Marissa for a young second generation superstar like this. Yeah! For those of you who have been following Ava Moreno and her opponent's Five minutes. over on main event, you're in for a Oh man, that spear is filled. And for those of you new to the rivalry, you're in for a treat too. This is I, this is one where I have to win it. WWE very long, but they're already determined 
to crush each other. Unfortunately, they won't have much crushing time as this is a five-minute time limit match, so they better crush quickly. That really isn't a lot of time. As I'm doing like one of the longest moves in history. I think this is one of those moves I said I wanted to change from when I played this last time because like that is too slow. This one I love, it's so dirty. <laughs> the knee to the face. Here's the combo of strikes. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. Ava interrupts the attack. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Please, no reversal. Nope, we're good. Fishes knee to the face. She's taking some big hits here. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Staved up that attack. <laughs> Bullseye with the back fist. And that was a well-executed attack. Just constant just strikes. Just over right now. Yeah, now she has to turn this momentum around. Then choking her up a bit. Exclamation point. That's filthy. I love that. And now she's climbing to the Oh, she tried to leave. Did you see that? Perched up top. Ava telegraphing. That spear is so hard to avoid it. <laughs> Oh, I had a brief moment. Snake eyes. Body lock applied. Great body control. Oh my god. She's taking a beating here. At this stage of the match, they are Oh, another possum. Look at all these possum moves. Back. We're very even in that regard. That's a new move. I wasn't even out down for the count. You can't do that. Kicks to the face. Turn your lights out. Oh, she reversed it, I think. Oh man, that's rough. Oh, I see, I always think it's after she puts it. Oh, this squatting garbage. I always think the reversal is before she, or after she puts the arm over her back, but it's right before, so it's, I always mess up the timing. She's going over to pin. We only have two minutes to get her done. She's going for it. This could be. Shoulders up before two. We are running out of time, guys. I'm legitimately trying, so. All sorts of trouble here. Delivers the knee drop. Will this be enough? She fights her shoulder up before one. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. Able to interrupt the attack. Knee right to the face. Oh, that was Smash. sick. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is we have a minute, roughly. That's what that was. Oh, what are you doing? No! Getting back into the ring. All right, I'll wait it out. That wasn't what I wanted to do, guys. I swear, I wanted to just throw her in. Maybe get like an extra attack. Nasty. Good night. Here we go. She's calling for it. She's stunned. I don't have to. I, I have another one saved up if I want it. She's gonna get out. That's okay. That's okay. She's gonna get out. That's it. She doesn't have it this time. Approaching our time limit. Hell yes, that was sick, bro. Here is your winner, Miss Marissa. Marissa. Tonight she really looked like she was born to do this. That was pretty slick. More than almost anyone else. Right at the 40, with 40 seconds left, man, in that five-minute timer. Looks like this is gonna sting a little worse. But she's also showing a persistent determination. No cutscene. Why is there no cutscene? I mean, there might be one after this loading screen, so I'll stay away for a second. <laughs> but I think that'll actually give us our proper debut. Now we'll actually be able to start the next storyline from it's SmackDown. It's like I've always said. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. And did you see the finish of that match? What a victory. In fact, it's a day of victories for this whole family. Not only did my niece triumph in her first match on SmackDown, 
it's finally time for that big announcement I've been teasing. As you know, I recently appeared at Survivor Series, and it seemed that impromptu moment scratched an itch that the WWE Universe didn't even know they had. After some talks with corporate, we've come to an arrangement, and starting next episode, Ruthless Digressions will be an official WWE podcast. It'll be all the same content you love, just with a little more WWE oomph behind it, including a brand new studio set so we can record video for all our exclusive interviews. Move over, Broken Skull Sessions and Steve Austin. There's a new podcast host in town, and it's me. Okay. You, you're not actually going to say, hey, Steve Austin, I'm better than you? Like, come on, dog. I mean, it looks like she's still our rival going in. We shall see what happens in a hot second. I think this will set up our next chapter, though. All right, the main event done. Let's take a look. So... All right, momentum is the next is the name of the next. So this one has a bit more to it. It's not that long. Uh, well, let's see how many challenge matches do we have. More and more bank. I wonder if it's a money in the bank. Yeah, this is a money in the back story bank storyline. That's sick. That would be awesome. Um, okay, let's see. Twice as hard. These are the two challenge ones past. So I don't even have a. I don't actually have a main story yet. So I actually have to do these optional, which is interesting. Usually they don't do that. Attribute upgrades. Uh, I have enough for one of these lessers. Unless I want my defense up. Which will improve my reversals. Which one got the bonus? It was arm strength, right? So it's probably good for striking. Yeah, see, we're at 90 because we have 10% boost. So because our arm power is so high. I mean, this isn't bad too. Grapple offense and strength. Aerial running. That's going to be pretty low. We could always boost it, I suppose. Defense is sitting... I think my aerial reversal, I need to... I'm going to boost that, honestly. Give it to a 80 overall for them. Seven points left. Socials. The DM is probably a storyline. Our, our best of three may, series may be over, but that doesn't mean I, I consider our business finished. I'll just catch up with her. What's up, Kassan? Doing good. How are you? Consider it however you like. Dues paid. This is true. Lacey. Oh, okay, yeah. She was who I was t talking about. People said she was still in it. Well, there you go. Totally last minute. I can use some help. All right. Well, guys, that chapter's in the books. It was dramatically shorter than uh, the, the 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 Locke's first chapter. Um, but we got at least four out of, hours out of the deal. So it's a good thing I spent more time uh, upgrading you know, or, or working on my superstar. Because, yeah, that one was a lot quicker. Um, based on the time we have, I probably don't have time to do a second stream for this. Because this next one could be longer than that. But I do plan on, obviously, continuing this tomorrow. Um, so I'll let you guys know, obviously, as we go through it. Hopefully, tomorrow, I'll be able to... Uh, I might be able to slip in two streams tomorrow. Uh, because, obviously, I want to make sure... Because I think if, they're, if, if both games or both careers are only four chapters long, I only really need four days in a row or, th or four streams, specifically, to get through this. So uh, we'll play it by ear, and that way we'll be ready for Resident Evil on Friday. So uh, for the time being, guys, we're going to stop this. I'll let you know if I'm going to stream again. I might. I still have a DLC that I haven't done from a week ago. I, maybe today, or may, I'll probably just do that tomorrow uh, because this first one was a decent length, and the next one might not be as long. So I'll let you guys know anyway. But uh, thank you guys for watching this first one. This I think this one is going to have a, a, a more realistic storyline than the lock. The lock seemed like it was all over the place, but this one kind of makes sense. You start at main event. Then you eventually work your way to SmackDown. And now we're, we're working towards a Money in the Bank storyline here. And Money in the Bank is usually a much longer event. So I guess we'll have to find out in a minute if that's what's going to happen. So, well, obviously it's going to be, uh, they mentioned it too. Doing a Money in the Bank storyline is going to be so sick. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed it, make sure you're leaving a like on the stream. And don't forget to uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you're not subscribed... Hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications while you're at it with the bell icon so you don't miss anything I put out. Uh, be sure to like and follow my socials. Got a Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Discord linked in the description below. If you want to get a shirt of hoodie of mine, there's a link in the description for that. Also, an embedded feature right below the stream here. You can scroll down and see some of the goodies I have there. A uh, big shout out to all the sponsors, of course, of the stream DX Racer, Bones Coffee, Always Bearded, The Ridge Rollup, Mad Rabbit Tattoo, and of course, Jinx Custom Controllers. I use these guys' products every single day, and you can check them out for yourselves with the links in the description. Make sure you use my promo code DanQ8000. Save a checkout. Finally, guys. 
sure to check out and sign up for the Team 8000 membership program, working towards our next milestone of 500 members. That's the next big one. Obviously, we had some gifted memberships expire, so we got to work our way back up to get to that number. So uh, be sure to check out one of the four uh, different tiers at various price points. There's an entry level, basic, premium, and ultimate tier. Obviously, the higher up in the list you go, the better, more perks you're going to get for your money. But that entry level, it's only 99 cents. Super cheap and super easy to get into the program. You're going to get things for signing up, such as custom badges by your name, custom emojis, using chat, exclusive video and stream access, priority, and open lobbies, giveaways, discounts, and plenty more. So make sure you check that out. Link in the description to join that. There's also a join button below the video on my main channel page as well. And if you are on Android phone or, or desktop versions of YouTube, you can actually gift memberships to other people. Uh, next to chat, right, there's a dollar sign icon, drop down menu, it should be in there. And from there, you can gift anywhere from one to 50 members at a time. So let's see what we can get going, see if we can get back up to that number. 450, I think one or two was probably the highest we've ever gotten. So let's see if we can at least get back up to, up to that and you know start breaking some more records on the channel. But in the meantime, guys, thank you so much for coming. We will be back definitely with WWE 2K tomorrow where we're going to be continuing this chapter uh, of the My Rise and we're going to be playing it all week up until Friday when Resident Evil 4 Remake is coming out. So don't worry. We got lots of stuff coming your way. Like I said, I've got a DLC as, as well that uh, came out a, a little over a week ago, I think, that I need to tackle. So um, I'll be tackling that hopefully... Uh, either tomorrow or the day after depending how long each of these end up being so yeah make sure you come and check that out lots of content coming up in the future for this thank you guys again have a great rest of your day and hopefully i'll see you in the next stream thanks guys take care peace